It's game time. Title Tuesday, you know what time it is, guys. Let's get right into it. $1,600 prize fund, three minutes, one second increment. It's Blitz. It's the best of the best, guys. Here's the format. 11-round Swiss. Every single Tuesday, you should stop what you're doing, maybe even call off work, and let them know that you can't make it today because this is where you want to be every Tuesday at this time. Three minutes, one second increment, guys. Here are the prizes. First place is $750. Second place is $400. Third place is $150. Fourth place, $100. Best female, 100 and best stream being $100 as well, guys. This is the best place to be here. Games are starting literally right now. Right now. We got the best of the best here. The big boys playing Hikaru, Faruja, Fedeseev, MBL. You name it. They probably here. Most of them. Not everybody, but most of them. Absolutely. So what is this already weirdness out of the opening? Hikaru is playing with the black pieces here. And um, oh, Queen G4, I'm sure, is some, some type of theory. But the Queen's out extremely early here, guys. This is free lessons. Free lessons every single Tuesday. Okay, so what's up, Tundra Mike? What's going on, chat? Welcome to the stream. This is Title Tuesday. Knight H5 is on the board. Exposing the fact that this Queen has moved how many times now? One, two, and three. With the Knight not being able to go to his natural square. You may see something like Knight H3. But I don't know if that really works. What about Bishop H6? Bishop H6 was kind of annoying. He had to go Knight G7. Kind of wants to go there anyway, though. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Are Danya and Hansen playing? That's a great question, actually. Great question. They could be. They honestly could be playing. We we just have to see. We'll see. There's a lot of... Everybody's titled in here. All the big boys are playing, usually. Yeah, I don't see them right now. I'm scrolling down. I don't see them. But maybe they'll pop up. Maybe they'll pop up. Cool. Cool. Raymond Simmons, I don't actually, I don't, buddy. Still theory, okay, okay, cool. Okay, still theory. Uh, how's this position feel though? With D6 on the board actually. Okay, it's kind of, I mean, it's equal. You see the evaluation bar favoring white slightly. I mean, super equal, I would say. Castle, queen side, when you have opposite side castles like this, whoever gets to the king first is going to win. So F3, preparing G4, and after G4 happens, uh, Hikaru was ready for G4. He doesn't even care, honestly, because G4 is definitely here on the board, and the knight has to probably go back to G7. So now I have G4, knight F4. So I think he probably should have played G4 first, because now knight F4 is really strong. Yeah, G4, now knight F4. So he's going to be okay. But before, knight F4 was actually losing a pawn. Yeah, we don't really care about this pawn that much. So G4 probably was slightly better here. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a big boy. Oh, you you are today. The great canteen in the house. Good commentary. Corbla, what's up, bro? Good to see you. What's up, Mr. Game Show himself? Corbla, what's up, big fella? Welcome to the stream. This knight is hanging, so he had to go queen d4 in a way here. Now we're going to trade and go into an end game where, honestly, this bishop, we would say, is strong because everything's on the light squares. Every single pawn he has, except this one, of course, is on the light squares here. So this bishop is going to be extremely strong if we can make weaknesses. Now, of course, there are no weaknesses as these pawns are blocking the bishop's scope. But if we can make some weaknesses, this bishop is going to be a monster here. Rook to c8 and we great. a6 next, kicking the knight. He's just going to end game him here. He's also down on time. He's down a full minute on time here. Hikaru was going to pull this one out pretty easy probably. Hope some nice chess today. Yeah, it's Tuesday. You're going to get a lot of nice chess today. Nothing but. You are going to see some blunders, so pat yourself on the back. It's going to be okay because they blunder too as well. So it's going to make you feel better about your game. But let's see what happens. C6, stopping knight to D5. So um, he's playing good though. You have to say white's playing really good here. White is ab absolutely playing pretty good. Of course, black is doing everything that he can here. He, made, he, he captured. Interesting move. He gave him a little bit of counterplay there, huh? Pawn takes rook g8. Not the easiest in game by far. Not the easiest. What's your favorite opening? That's a good question. Probably c3 Sicilian or accelerated dragon. c3 Sicilian for the kill. You want to play Hikaru? You can. Go ahead. I mean, well, you have to go to his stream. If you're not title, you won't be able to catch him here. But maybe go to his stream. And he does play the subs. Check him out. He's streaming right now, by the way. If you guys want to go check out Hikaru's stream and see his thoughts, he is streaming literally right now. Right now. So we can create a pass pawn on this side of the board here, which is important. So if we do have some trades, but this king and this bishop are too close for this to be a realistic way 
to create a pass pawn and actually queen it. You could create it with b4, a4, a5. Creating a pass pawn, that is what the end game is about. In the end game, you are trying to queen as quickly as possible. When you get that queen available to you, you win the game, basically, right? But here, now this pawn that was very weak, as we uh, seen early on, is now about to be captured. He didn't capture it yet, though. He made sure his king maybe a little bit safer, maybe get it a little bit closer before snapping on a4. And white's just uh, out of time and not enough moves. Out of times, not enough moves. Not enough, big fella. Not enough. I didn't see your big brain thoughts. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see. Carl wouldn't trade. He wants to want to take bishop. Tension. Focus on that file. Big brain. Definitely big brain thoughts. Black can push the F pawn. Yeah. And, and that's what he did, actually. He did. He pushed his F pawn. He traded. And now the pawn's... Uh, he got this extra pawn here. This is double though. Double pawn is usually equal to like one pawn, especially here in the end game. But uh, Black's Black's gonna pull this one out. Not only on time, but the position is great, especially coming down to d2. And do what we do. Bishop e6, very nice. Probably rook g6. That's right. Rook takes and then takes and then snaps. Everything must go. Sail. We coming back. We coming away and grabbing everything. Everything must go today, my guy. My guy. You will play your rips in today. Yes. Yes, I am, Panda. Dang, how'd you know that, Panda? That's actually correct. I am playing Ribson today. And great job from Hikaru. Obviously, right? He always does what he does. This is 11 rounds, too, so we have to wait till all the games to finish before the next round starts. Oh, Faruja. Shout out to the Faruja fans. Raise your hand, right? Faruja's playing right now. Fans will have a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. What's up, Still Link? Yes. Faruja's playing right now. So, of course, let's see what he does. We'd love to see some tactics here. So let's see if it's some uh, big boy stuff going on. Hey, Kenzie, love your casting. What's up, Ian? Andy, welcome to the stream. Nerdisky playing today? I haven't seen him. I didn't see him or Hanson, but there's so many names. Everybody's titled, so you got to scroll a lot. So I did not see Hanson or Nerdisky in here. Usually they do play. And most likely, I didn't see him streaming either. I didn't see the chess bra streaming. If they're streaming, you know, they, they always stream Title Tuesday. And I did not see them streaming, so they may not be on today. It may not be on today. Uh, when does GM XQC right hand go up? Come on, Joseph. Let's go. <laughs> GM XQC. Oh, we have a full piece here. Yeah, we have a full piece. That's a wrap here. How did he win that piece? Let's just go back real quick. How did he win this piece? Okay, so he hit him with a move. Oh, he just blundered. Knight D6. Wait, could he have not taken it? He just didn't take it back? I'm sorry, what? He didn't take the bishop back? Or she, actually. Natalia. Well, there's time trouble for both here, but of course, uh, Ali Reza should pull this one out. Pretty easy. We're up a piece. We're up time. Everything's winning. Rook c7, bishop b5, and then rook c8 as well. g3, whatever, right? Y you can do anything here. You can do anything. Okay, we're on rook c8 anyway. Why not? Rook c8, we're going to take, and then we're going to queen. We could also just queen immediately. Takes, take on e5, queen to the back rank. There it is. GG, start a new one. Uh, start a new one. That's right. Might be getting ready for Twitch Rivals. I think that's exactly what they're doing. It's probably why they're not playing. Getting ready for Twitch Rivals, which is right after this, guys. Right after Title Tuesday to that. Make sure you guys are here for that. Yikes. Whoa, let's get that off the screen. This is a family channel. Okay, let's get that off the screen real quick. All right, so white. I don't know. This is interesting. I got two knights, but I don't have enough pawns. So honestly, I would take black here. Black has more pawns, and especially if we can push forward. This could be for real, for real. This could be nice. What's the title format or, or the time format for title Tuesday? Three minutes, one second increment. Um, good, in, good evening, dear human and Jedi. What's up, Jackie the alien? Welcome to the stream, bro. Yeah, these knights, uh, we don't have enough pawns, like we said before. Blacks are definitely pushing for more, especially if we can get these mobile. It'll be a wrap. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, I don't like we said, we don't like this. Now there's another pawn gone. Okay, Rick takes a four is definitely in the future here. He had to watch out for a uh, knight. 97 as well yikes that's a wrap just like that and also there's no time on the clock for both parties actually this is three one no three minutes one second increment yo what's up more Mied. Well, welcome to the stream yeah black definitely won that one even though he was down a piece but he had those extra pawns that helped him cruise to this win in the end cruise to the win in the end all right let's go with chopper and black which way are we going we're going this way okay so oh it's equal really yeah there's no way to shelter the king 
Uh, this is great in-game here. There's no way to shelter the king away from the checks. As you see, his king's too far away. And every time he blocks, then we have a book draw here where we get in front of the pawn straight back. And then we grab opposition from either side once the king is there. So this is a, a book draw is what they say. A book draw here. Unless somebody jumps off the deep end here, finds the tallest building they can find and jumps off of it. That could definitely happen if he start acting crazy here. I don't see a way to blunder though this is defended yeah there's no way to blunder so what are we doing okay there we go they're <laughs> like what are we doing why are we still here there we go there we go all right why the name title tuesday because everyone here is a titled player every single one is a titled player that's very very nice very very nice so every single one okay so now rook check flex real hard this is a draw by the way too this is a book draw so uh tt why are they still here yeah just to suffer right this king the king and the knight though the king and the knight are a draw it's supposed to be quotation marks supposed to be a draw yep and there it is and there it is right it's supposed to be a draw but it wasn't thank you so much uh loose for m34 Thought it was uh, titled Tuesday until just now. Yeah, he <laughs> thought it was tilted. Yeah, most people think it's tilted Tuesday, guys. It is titled Tuesday, not tilted Tuesday. Even though these people can get very tilted here, this is a uh, titled Tuesday here. Titled Tuesday. It'd be nice to get some points in here. Trying to get twenty eight hundred blitz this year, so it would be nice to get some points here in Titled Tuesday. But I am actually prepping for my uh, my tournament this month. So read it. Yeah, you read it as tilted. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he played h3, move one. Yeah, this is Hikaru's new thing. Usually, guys, usually he likes to do knight f3 and b3. But the, yesterday, since yesterday, he's been playing this h3, which, of course, we talked about this. Now, yeah, this is garbage out the opening. Don't try this at home, right? Do not try this at home. But at the same time, check this out. So h3 um, is, a, is an inclusion, an early inclusion of the move, actually. It's an er early inclusion. You're going to play h3 probably sometime in the game. Yeah, it's garbage. You know, you don't you don't do this. Don't do this. But at the same time, you know, you see H3 is going to be beneficial later on. So, yeah, it's a weird move. But at the same time, the man's doing his thing. Right. So, you know, um, time here is just good. Time games. Thanks, bro. Welcome. Welcome. Title Tuesday must be tilted. Tuesday must be pinball pinball. That's right. Thanks for the commentary. Thanks. Acid. Why is everyone ranked number one? Everyone's ranked number one right now. Because, well, actually, this one's two out of two. Because they got the same score. Is Danya playing? We haven't been able to see Naradisky. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him, actually. Yeah, we haven't seen him yet. Danya busy with Twitch Rivals. Yeah, we, we all doing Twitch Rivals today. That's going to be fun. That's going to be real, real fun. B4, Knight to C6. I'm loving Hikaru's position already. Knight C4, and we score. Psych. Bishop B3 is very, very nice here. Queen D3 as well, hitting the Knight, pressing for E5. But you have to play E5 at the right moment, because after takes, takes, we trade the Queen. And the Queen is gone, and now you don't have this battery you were looking for. So this Knight has to go somewhere. Do you even have a move? Oh, my goodness. Bro, I, I was doing the same thing here. Well, here's D5, though. D5 is kind of weird. We do get a pawn out of that. D5 is the only move. Bishop B6 loses on the spot to D5, and we live. Start a new one. But uh, this knight has no squares. So you either have D5 or just resign. There's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do. Either D5 or resign. There it is. There it is. D5. D5 is on the board. So the question is, how do we capture this? Or do we capture this? Can we just play E5? There it is. Now we can play E5 without worrying about the queen trade. The battery is going to be a wrap here. Knight has to move somewhere, unless you just want to, hey, resign as well. Knight d7, check, flex real hard. King f8, check him again. King e7, we can take on g7 as well. Followed by bishop takes h6, bishop g5, and we live. Start a new game. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Easy. Light work. When you see Carl just resign. You know, that... <sighs> you know... You don't want to do that, but it's, I mean, you will save some time. You will save some time, but you want to learn. You want to learn. So he went this route instead. Rook takes e4. So this knight is definitely a wrap here. This is uh, looking extremely ugly. Bishop b3 actually hits it once again. Can you play knight takes e5 and get away with it? Maybe not. You could play rook f4. Rook h4, threatening bishop takes h6. Look at everything aiming to this way. Every time I teach students here, you have to know, guys, you have, it takes three pieces for a successful attack, usually. One or and the more that you have, so check this out. One, two, one, two, three, and four, and maybe five. So two or three of them are going to sacrifice. The rest are going to deliver mate. Let's see what happens. This is about to be fun. This is going to be real fun. 
Oh my goodness. Puzzle Rush. Bishop takes h6. You might just do it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Just do it. 11 arrows. Hikaru will be proud. Yeah, I went to the school of Hikaru. You know, I went to the school of Hikaru. That's my guy. Hikaru uh, definitely um, showed me how to draw arrows very nicely. I uh, graduated with honors. Bishop here. Queen g b5. Bishop. Huh. There's a lot of moves. Rook f4. Bishop takes. I don't know. Hmm. A4. Interesting. If what? Well, wait a second. What are you doing? We have to see. We got to see it. Queen takes b4. I know he saw this. So d5. That's what he's going for to get this extra pawn in play. This bishop is annoying to the f7 square. So that makes total sense here. He played a4 because he couldn't play d5. So queen takes b4. Now d5 attacks the bishop that's defending f7, which is a weak point for us. So moves like bishop takes h6 are going to be even stronger now. Followed by rook f4 hitting the f7 square. Nasty. Nasty, boy. I mean, that's just nasty. And he finds this stuff so fast. You know what I mean? So fast. Hey, guys. What's up, Mr. King? What's going on, Kirosh? Welcome to the stream. What up? What up? What's going on, bro? I hope I can play better. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Hikaru hasn't even used a minute. I mean, it's just disrespectful. It's just absolutely gross. Like, how does he do this? All right. But he, like we say, he's half human and half everything else. The other half, we don't know yet. Does Levy play Title Tuesday? Sometimes. Sometimes. Black is also in time trouble. Correct. Correct. You playing with Ripson today? I am playing with Ripson today. got to Yep, absolutely. Rook f4, and we score. Knight takes e5, and we live. Everything's just gross. Rook takes f7. There's a check here. What do you want, right? What do you want? King h1, of course, rook queen takes was going to be with check. He's also stepping out of the way of this diagonal, which is pretty scary to be on. So we just step out of the way. Have a nice day. Queen takes a8. Free rook. Free rook. He's fighting, though. It's one second left. You know, you can do anything here. You can do literally anything here. Literally anything. Dub on above, very nice, very nice. Hikaru with the win there, and what else did we expect, right? And Feruja right behind him. We got Jeffrey Zhang playing, oh my goodness. Then you got Badir uh, Joe Baba, Joe, Joe Baba London, if you heard of that. Yep, that's him, Bardu, uh, Badir. Joe Baba in here, I'm not sure who this one is. This is Min Lee, of course, Min Lee's in here. We got uh, Max Sulu, uh, Max Ludu, something like that. Yakov is in here, Baziv. I mean, look at all these players, guys. Like, so many strong players. Love playing in this tournament. Christopher Yu. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Right. And this all big names. All big boy chess. Nothing less. MVL's playing. I mean, look. MVL's here? MVL's here, too? Bring the force. What's up, boy, baby? Welcome to the stream. This is insane. I just started learning to play chess, and this is totally blowing my mind. Yeah, go to the chess.com learn tab and go crazy over there, Storm Chaser. Welcome to the chess world. Welcome to the chess world. You already know. You already know. Go Alex. Good. Good. Yeah. He says go Alex. Go Alex. Be NBL. This does not look like he's anywhere close. What is this pawn structure here? Your pawn structure is your GPS. Many GMs will tell you that. But the pawn structure is the GPS. So depending on how it looks, the pawn structure tells you exactly how you should play the position. And if you don't know how the pawn how to play the position, then you have to study the pawn structure. It's very, very important. Pawn structure gives you all the ideas here. Now, with this pawn structure, is locked up, and we would love knights here. And, of course, we have an extra an exchange, actually, uh, to say the least. But white is winning, though. White is winning. He's doing pretty fine. These bishops will swipe the board in some cases, though. Bishop h6, pretty nice diagonal to be on. It will take some time. Rooks need what, guys? open files and diagonals so you need to be able to use any open file that you have and that's what he's doing here traded one of the bishops now we're doing good gotta watch the pass pawn the best defense and offense for a pass pawn would be behind the pawn like he's doing here as he's demonstrating this is the best way to defend against a pawn like this now the evaluation bar has completely changed here as this man is giving the game back but that's what happens in time trouble in time trouble this happens all the time yeah this bishop is doing a great job of defending the rook is defending as well. So, you know, we're trying to get a draw almost here as uh, as white. MVL recognizes that this is a win. So we're about to just do this very nicely. Walk the dogs in the park. Very simple. Just walking the dogs. Nothing nothing too serious. I'm just going for a stroll with the boys. King c6. King takes d7. King b7. Rook c7 works too. King b7 was this. It doesn't matter. Anything works here. GG. Start a new one. And he resigns. Yikes. He was doing good too. He was doing really good. But again, time trouble, time trouble. 
What's your hat say? My hat says that's not a move. Eve Arbar going crazy. I know. I know. I know. Okay, just start comes your favorite red your favorite website. A great way to procrastinate from studying medicine. Yeah, man. Make sure you study in your medicine. But definitely, chess is always a, a great game. A great game. When you're winning. <laughs> when you're losing. When you're like, why do I play this game? Why do I play this game? And then you play another one. Okay, what's going on here? This should be... Yeah, this is a win. Because we do have shelter for the king. You always need shelter for the king. This was smooth sailing. That's right. That's right. Chess is getting popular again. That's absolutely right. Yeah, white won that one. Did he just drop something? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's mate. There's mate and king takes f5. This was equal, though. Oh, snap. He missed it. Wow. What was the move? G6? Dang. He just resigned in an equal position. When did you start playing chess? 21 years, bro. I'm tw uh, I started when I was 8. I'm 29 this year. James, do you think who do you think will win candidates? Well, I know uh, MVL and um, who's the other one leading? Jan. Nipomniachi. Um, between those two, honestly. Nipomniachi is definitely pushing really tight. He's doing some different type of chess by these days too as well. Not what you're regularly seeing. He's playing all kind of stuff. So it's very hard to prep for him in a way. So he's, he has a very good chance as well. But definitely um, MVL is a beast, right? Peace. April. It should be in April. Relax, Bill. You wish I learned when I was young? No problem, man. Just keep playing. Is Eric Hansen in it? I don't... This is a book draw, by the way. Book draw. It should be a book draw. There's no way to, like... Literally, there's no way to uh, blunder, blunder. Okay, there's the draw. There we go. Brandon Jacobson. That's right. Great job. That was round two. And now, let's check the standings here. Round two. Whoa. Did he... What happened? Did he leave? Where did Hikaru go? He Did he leave? Did anybody know? He's streaming right now. But, like, where did he go? Hikaru was up here. He was up here. I don't know what happened. I don't know where he went. The round started. He might have dipped out. What happened, bro? Refresh, maybe? Is it still there? It bugged. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's right here. What? That's, that's very strange. Very, very strange. Yeah, let's actually hit a refresh there. And he's still not there, though. A lot of people would, too. Mm -hmm. Kind of strange. That's okay. He's here, though. He didn't leave. He did not leave. What's up, Phoenix Knight or PHX? Maybe that's Phoenix. Phoenix Knight. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. MVL won that. Uh, yeah, he did. He won that game we looked at. So in this strange position here, how did this start? Oh, it was a modern. Yeah, uh, um, Hikaru was very nice with the modern these days. I mean, he's using it a lot. It's a flexibility opening. Now, this is one of the things you shouldn't do. Very scary, right? But there's always exceptions in chess. Fox, what's going on, Fox? There's always exceptions in chess. So he, he sacrificed, and not even sacrificed, but really in a way you can think of this as a sacrifice. This bishop is the strongest piece on the board. So to give it up so early for these double pawns, you really need to know what you're doing or you're going to get crushed. Your whole life depends on it because this this strong bishop is able to, you know, take the squares that you don't have for the dark square bishop. So he puts the queen back here to do what the bishop was supposed to do. Uh, at the cost of a pawn, though, we are up a pawn, says Black. So now with all this going, I mean, this is strange. The only person, like, don't try this at home, guys. Don't try this at home unless you are booked up. Your king in the center of the board, right? Your queen's on G7. Like, doubled pawns. What? What? No. Don't try this at home, okay? But, you know, it's Hikaru. Half man, half everything else. He can do what he wants. So you can learn here. But learn, don't do this. Don't, just don't give that bishop up unless you know what you're doing. There are some books that they go over that. There are many books that go over this bishop on g7 trying to, to capture on c3. Uh, but that that's, hey, bro, hey, you know, you can. You can do you can do whatever you like. You can do whatever you like. But, man, it's not going to be fun for you. I will tell you that. 95, 97, maybe castling queenside. Because uh, you have to figure out where you're going to put your king at. Your king's still in the center of the board here, guys. This is one of the rules in chess, of course. Is king safety, not necessarily castling. Castling is actually an overrated move. You can actually uh, look that up. But it is an overrated move, but you do need to castle in some positions. It's all about the king's safety. How safe is the king, period. Right. Don't try this at home. Don't try it, control. Please don't. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Mm, punch it, yeah. Make sure. Hikaru, Ferruja, MVL, while wow, so many top players in the world. Yes, Tundra, bro. So many. 
What's your recommendation for books to start with? Um, any, anyone and everyone, even up to 2200 strength. Um, 2200, 2300, like it doesn't matter. Like this is just is a, a good book to have is Reassess Your Chess, the fourth edition, which is great. You also have Chess Fundamentals from uh, Jose Capablanca, um, Raul Capablanca. The, uh, it's an old book, real old, but Chess Fundamentals is fire, very fire. It's, it's, you know, don't move a piece twice in the opening, refrain from it. Don't ever do it, but refrain from moving a piece twice in the opening. Goes over in game techniques. Very nice one. You also got Pandolfini's uh, in-game in manual. That's an old one. Building a bridge, stuff like that. You know, there's so many books out there, bro. My system, but my system's hard. You need to be 1800 plus really to to use a, uh, the my system book. It's very, very hard terms in there. Rook takes F4. Can I just take this knight and knight knight? Or is it H3? Queen takes H3 is strong, I think. I think that's really strong. Yo, who was that? D <laughs> Die, die, die nasty. Yeah, die nasty. What's up, bro? When Carlo's taking time, he's thanking his subs. Yeah, and also thinking. It's scary. When Carlo takes his time, you are in trouble. And he did. He went for it. Queen takes h3. And we have this called the fishing pole. If you Google it in chess, fishing pole. Some of these, uh, this one's not a real fishing pole technique or whatever. Because usually what happens is after you capture, there's this decisive attack that comes on the queen side or yeah, not the queen side, the king side here for mate. So usually a rook will be on f1 and a pawn on f2. So when you play f3 for the love for your king, we play g3 with this pawn and then lock you in. So it's mate no matter what. So bishop takes c5 though. Pawn takes which way? Which way? Dang, that was a good move, big fella. Oh, snap. Black's crushing though. It's hard to see. You know, the engine knows all, but it's hard to see that the engine... You know, looks are very deceiving in chess. Like, would you look at this position and say that black was minus three, the last move? Let's actually see what that was. Like, what was the best move? After takes, what did he have? Take with the F pawn and then play what? Play bishop D7. Somehow, some way, it was just better. That's that's just, you know, even Kikaro didn't even, you know, do, see that. That's just too much. Sometimes the engine is going, oh, yeah, in 27 moves, you'll be much better, though. It's minus three right now, but we're talking about after 27 moves. And you're like, yo, that don't even make sense, you know. This, <laughs> nobody's going to see that. Queen d5 hitting the rook. Queen takes g8? I mean, rook takes g6? What am I missing here? Queen takes b7. You have a check. Bro, I'm just taking this bishop. I don't see what you're doing, my guy. And you got eight seconds, too. You can almost do anything here. You can almost do anything. Eight seconds on the clock. You bought Art of Attack, Chessable Grey Book. Oh, Art of Attack is a is a monstrous book. I remember I learned the double bishop, not learned it, but I emphasized the double bishop sacrifice. Even one of the best games I've seen on the double bishop sacrifice, you can look it up yourself, is Judith Pogar versus Karpov. Crush team. I mean, crush team. She got an equal score with Karpov over the board. Like OTB over the board, equal score. Judith Pogar versus Karpov. But she, she the double bishop. I was, and I, I saw the position and I was like, how did Karpov get in this position? I was like, man, is she just dumb strong or he makes a lot of mistakes that game? But I mean, she's a little bit of both, a little bit of both because she is dumb strong. But it's just funny that uh, he had that kind of position. Double bishop sacrifice, king in the center, all kind of stuff happens from that book. It is an excellent book, uh, but you need to be, you know, have a, an open mind on what they're going to teach you in that book. Very strong art of attack. Where do you think we'll go next decade? Neural net engines? Hey, hey. To the moon, you know, <laughs> a lot. It's going to be far. It's going to be far, of course. Maybe 5,000. The engine's going to be stronger every year. These these look like low time blunders and sacrifices. Yeah, three seconds here. And Hikaru's thinking. And he it's three seconds on the clock. Well, there is actually, there is that increment. So you do have to think, actually. Yo, shout out to this GM, though. Where's he from? Belarus. He's uh, very strong, and we say that because he may, no one gets Hikaru this low on time. He Ferruja, you know, like MVL maybe, you know, like you, you don't get this low on time. Hikaru never gets this low on time. So this was a very tough game. You have to, oh, yeah, he dropped the rook. He blocked with his face. That's a wrap. Start over. Yeah, start a new one. Yeah, he just hung a piece, but it happens, or hung the rook. It happens um, in time trouble. Every time you get time trouble, it's just a matter of time before you do make a mistake there. Round three. Yikes. You saw him a video on the Scotch Gambit. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, Oregon. He's he's 18. Now he's number 18. That's weird. That was like weird, huh? Very weird. Yeah, he's right. He's down here. I see him. He's down here. We're on three. Let's see how many games we got left. Okay, Farouja's still playing. 
and Ferruja, it loses. We come in, and Ferruja is lost. He drops a full rook here. He's also missing the queen. It's almost like, what happened? How and where and what happened here, big fella? Let's check out Badur Jobava, the Jobava London man himself. Knight of three, very easy. He's strong. With, I mean, well, you know, you have to be strong in your in games, period. Wow, that was a draw, huh? So you couldn't push for more? You really couldn't push for more here. How could you not push for more? I don't really understand. You have the extra pawns. And he took a repetition. It's very strange. Yeah, we have a bishop, but you push on. You got two extra pawns. Yeah, of course, this is kind of like one. But you got g3, maybe h4, and just, you know, bank on him maybe making a mistake. Uh, especially with the tricky knight that can jump around everywhere. I mean, I just don't agree with the draw there, guys. It's a draw. Time, you got one second increment. It'd be different. It would be different if there was no increment. These, This is different. But the increments, which actually uh, Jobaba actually prefers the increments from what I know. He does like to play increment. So that that's because you don't flag and you can finish a position like that without worrying about, you know, losing on time. Check this big boy game out. Doing good. Looks good. Looks good. Channel really enjoying commentary. Thank you, Take care. Thanks, bro. See you later, Storm Chaser. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, he blocked with his face, BBT. He blocked with his face. Oh, he hung his rook a few moves earlier, too, huh? Yeah, time trouble gets us all. Mate in China, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Okay, do we have a draw? That check's annoying. That was an annoying check. Especially if his king gets active. So you got to keep him cut off. Yeah, you see, he's just going to shuffle. I would just shuffle back and forth. If this king gets active, it's a wrap. Start a new one. So you have to keep the king at bay. That's exactly what he's doing here. Just shuffle. Yeah, check and go back. Oh, he might try to come around the back way. You see the engine evaluation changed too. Maybe it was saying come around the back way and steal this one while you take that one. Come through the back door. King G6. Check. Flex real hard. Oh, well, you could have kept the king. He's going to do it this way. But can I just run? Uh-oh. 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 Hold on, my guy. Hold on, my guy. Yep. Yep. He jumped off the deep end. Somebody get him. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. This is over. This is over. And now the rest is the rest is easy. The rest is easy. I think it's rook here, usually. Usually you do rook here. This this works too as well. King here pushing the pawn. Uh-oh. Equal. Dang, he messed it up. In-game <laughs> GM, right? You know, it's so hard. It's literally in games are the hardest thing ever in your entire life. In your entire life. Even Magnus had a similar position, I think. Uh, it's in uh, Devoretsky's in-game manual. They go over Magnus's mistake, is what they call it. In there, Devoretsky in-game manual, something like that. He has some problems with a position similar, and he failed to draw it here. But this is a draw. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's a wrap. Just take the rook, take the pawn. Yikes. He was trying to set up a Lucina here. And this is uh, David Howell trying to set up a Lucina. Best solo commentator. Thanks. Higher space. What is up? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, he jumped mate. Made in China. Off the deep end. Start a new one, right? Start a new one. All right. And let's check the standings. And a threes. A lot of threes here. You literally, if you lose the first three games, you still can come back and finish. Very nice. Very, very nice, to be honest. Okay, we got Hikaru and Baki 83. What is this? King's Pawn, Knight's Variation, Knight to C6. He's not. Oh, he's probably talking to the chat or something. Bishop B5. We got a, a Roy. Berlin plays D3. Says none of that boring stuff. I'm not trying to go to sleep on stream. Bishop takes, Pawn takes, Knight D2. Castle, get out the way. Now, the problem, when you give up the Bishop here, you have to know what to do next, which we know Hikaru knows what to do next. So you have to keep the position closed for a while until you get your pieces optimally placed. When they're on their optimal squares, then you can choose to open the position up at your leisure. Because if you do it before then, these bishops are going to swipe the board and crush you as fast as you open the board up. Real fast. Real, real fast. Seeing title players play chess makes me realize how bad I am. No, but they make blunders too. They do, but just not as much, right? But they, they make blunders too. Do I love this commentary so much? Thanks. Slew, seven, six, eight, and we great. Appreciate you. Let's go, let's go. All right, so a4 is on the board, grabbing some space on the queen side. Also locking down this pawn, so if b5 happens, we actually take it. We're able to take it here. Evaluation, it's equal here. It's very equal position, as it should be. But if you notice how close the game is, it's closed. When you have locked up positions like this, where stuff's locked up, this is, this is you're doing, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. I understand that I have knights, so I don't. I don't want to open the game up. I, I'm not striving to play D4. I'm not striving to play, you know, F4 at the wrong moment. You do want to play F4, 
but at the wrong moment, it will be very decisive for the game. Maybe even putting the king on h1 and tucking him away from dark square weaknesses after playing f4. This is a prophylactic move. Prophylaxis, one of the best players to be do that is Petrosian, when it, uh, world champion when it comes to uh, prophylaxis. King h1 would be nice. Bishop b2 and bishop d4, maybe c3. We're trying to get rid. If we get rid of one of the bishops, then we okay. C3 is kind of, yeah, there it is, king h1. And you want to play f4 eventually, but you're going to get in trouble if you play it at the wrong time. G5 and we live and start a new one. That's a fork. Can't do that. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? King Canty, commentate it legit. What's up, foolproof? Welcome. Is there a difference between GM and NM? There's a difference between all titles. But eventually, you know, every uh, GM was once CM, NM, IM, FM, right? And you, you have to play at the strength before you actually get the title. Love your commentary. Thanks for this. Thank you, Mousters. Commentary smooth, brother. Thank you, Ryan. Um, just found a stream. I love it. Nice. You're new to chess. 900. And your dad wrote four or five books on chess. Maybe you know him. What's your, who's your dad? That's what's up. Who's your dad, man? He wrote four or five books. He's a legend. He's a legend. Big fan of prophylaxis. Watching Hikaru in the other tab. Yeah, Hikaru was putting in work. You know, work. He's always putting in work here. Now we have to open the game, like we said, at our leisure. And this is, this is the time. Now the game is a little bit more open. And you see, as soon as it opens, look at how the evaluation changes, right? As soon as the game opened up, right? This bishop about to go to work. Look at his squares. This is why if you have knights early on and the bishop pair is an advantage, this is something you should know in all time. So if you're a beginner, you shouldn't just voluntarily bishop takes knight just because I hate knights. I always get forked. Well, you just need to get better at not getting forked because that is a rule. Two bishops are an advantage. And here, they're definitely about to show off their skill here in an open position. You got to be very careful. Now this knight is on the back rank, disrupting the rook's connections. Hikaru is actually losing this game, but the game is not over yet. There is still a lot of play left. F3, don't agree with it. It does shut down the diagonal. So we don't have to take this. As he says, queen e1. Keep it locked up, big dog. I appreciate you. Keep it locked up. New favorite commentary. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it, my guy. We in here. Can't you do your stream on your own? I do. There's my stream there. Thank you. Tundra Mike. Tundra Mike. Let's go. Yeah, Rook G1. And it, like we said, it's locked up. It's Now we're feeling a little bit better about this position. A lot better, to be honest. Bishop G2 is not a move. You can't actually go here because Knight takes. So, uh, I am Nietzsche. Nietzsche uh, Botnik. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. You just have to go to uh, my channel. Click on the Lessons tab under About. You know, it's not Magnus. Magnus is Miss. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. OK, so. All right. So let me see. Knight to C3, Knight to D5. Whose move is it? Is black to move? What, what's the next move? What are we going to do here, guys? What are we going to do? Snap, snap. He play Rook to E8. Yeah, white's doing fine. I can play Knight E4. Queen takes E4. Maybe Bishop E3. Try to trade this Bishop off. Something else we could do here. You might know him. Yeah, who's your dad, Audrey? Audrey Z. Why didn't Eric play today? There's having um there's um uh what is it? Twitch rivals is today. Twitch rivals today. So they're probably prepping for that. If you don't see it, they're probably prepping, getting all the setups, the tech stuff, you know, stuff like that. Takes takes. His name's Joel Sneed. I don't want to get in trouble. No, I never heard of him actually though. Never heard of him. That's cool though. What what is his books? What did he write? What are his books about? Never heard of him, though. But that's, I mean, he wrote five, six books. Like, I mean, got to be a monster, you know. I mean, you don't have to be a monster to write books. But still, um, I mean, he got six books out. You know, that guy's a legend. That guy is a legend, my guy. Loving the commentary, James. Let's go. Appreciate you, bro. Hello. What's up, Rogue Gaming? What's going on? Hello, Audrey. And, oh, Rogue. Yeah, bro. Just Google Johnson. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, 24 seconds here. Hikaru is up time, as he always is. Man, this was a hard game for Hikaru. This, this, not the, you know, this isn't, this is a harder tournament for him. Usually you'll see him just run through the comp sometimes. And this one is, has been a test of strength here, where he did have a losing position here at some point. But you know, the time, you have to use the time as a piece, as we talk about many times here, guys. You have to use time as a piece. 
Your your oh he could just take it too yeah. Your clock is a piece and you have to use it as such. Very nice. Now he's saying ha huh, yeah you got the bishops but I got the better one. I got the better one. Ha 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 ha. Laughing all the way home. I got the better bishop. That's so funny. Like a game where you got two bishops. <laughs> That's so funny. You know I got two bishops but I'm losing to the one bishop on the board. Insane. Very funny. Chess is a, a funny game. Chess is a very, very funny game. There it is. White wins. Hikaru takes another one. Min Lee, look at that man work. Four out of four. Peter Svidler, like, man, Peter Svidler in here. This is a Z Kid. That's a Steven Zierk. Hikaru. Who else is up here? I forgot who this was. I think that's his name. His name is, I think this is his last name. I, yeah, this is his last name. Um, Paul from SPB. Oh my goodness. Paul from SPB. Wow. Shout out to him. We haven't seen him in a long time. Paul from SPB was, I mean, we've said his name a lot in the in the previous years. Haven't seen him in the last year or so, but he playing today. Like, hey guys, we back. Y'all forgot about me? Oh, you forgot it. Oh, you forgot. Okay. Let me show you why they call me Paul from SPB. That's because, uh, that's because he calls himself that. Love the commentary. Keep it up, man. Thanks, Anton. Paul is back. Yeah, Paul back hyperspace. Paul is back. Wow. Didn't even, did not expect to see Paul in here, bro. Did not expect to see Paul. So this is, is this should be a draw, right? We always say this should be because, yeah, there it is. Okay, this should, this is the easy draw now. Okay, great job. Great job. Shout out to Gabix here. Who's he? Where's he from? Hungary. Misha Nick. Nice job. Nice job. Let's see how many games we have left here. See how many games you got. Yakov. Nice. He's very strong. Very, very strong. You see 2781. Something happened there. He just jumped off the deep end. GG. What did he do? Wow. You just push, right? Yeah, just push. Dang, man. That sucks. And then push in a knight G2. And what do you do? Wow. GG. Start a new one. He just went. <laughs> yeah, when you're losing, you just do whatever. I'm losing. Let's see if he sees this move. It doesn't matter. Didn't matter there. Yikes. Yeah. But the thing here, though, this is why this was losing now is after pushing or even no matter where you, well, you can't actually, he can't even get here anyway. If he could have got to this diagonal, though, it would have be pushing and then play knight to g2 to block the diagonal the bishop is on. And then we're queening anyway was the idea. Looks like uh, two games left in round four here. This is an easy win. Just don't stalemate. Just don't stalemate. Check and checkmate. Great job. Great job. Clockwork. Light work. Just another day in the office. Check. King out of the way. Ch Whoa. Is this a draw? Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Two pawns. I got two extra pawns and I can't queen them. Man, that hurts. I know that hurt him. I know that hurt, bro. Because like you're up two extra pawns, but you can't do anything about it. You got to stay around it. And you get checked again. And it's just check into oblivion. Like check, 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 check. Can't move anything. Really, you just want these to be reversed and you'll be fine. But it's a draw. Well, we're going to check the standings real quick. See, fours, a lot of fours here. Lots of fours. Lots of big boys playing. So, um, but pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff, guys. So, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere and we will return very shortly.
Welcome back, guys. Title Tuesday. It's that day every Tuesday. You know how it goes. $1,600 price fund, three minutes and one second increment. Blitz today, the best of the best. Title Tuesday. Here's the format 11 rounds every single Tuesday, three minutes, one second increment. And here are the prizes 750, 400, 150, $100, best female, 100, and best stream, $100. We're in round four going into round five. Checking the standings, you see Misha Nick at the top and lots of fours, lots of fours here. So round five is about to start very soon. Carl's up here, ZK, which is Steven Zierk. You have uh, Min Lee, wonderful time, Misha Nick here. Peter Svidler, uh, Demchenko is very strong as well. I mean, look at all these strong players here. I forgot who this one is. Uh, Korobov? I think he's, that's Korobov. You got Gatakamski here, round five starting. Paul from SPB is up there. Everybody's playing. Let's check out Ikaru. What he's doing or what he's about to do so white here we have d4 probably gonna see g6 he plays knight of six now and he played e6 i mean he's just playing whatever he wants this is what ikaru does though he just he plays whatever he wants because he played g6 this tournament i'm gonna play a little king's indian i'm gonna play h3 you know like somebody you know chat make a move for me right that's exactly how he's playing today and, but he's playing all correct stuff too. The Nimzo Indian being a very strong hyper modern opening in the Indian systems, being Kings Indian, Queens Indian, Nobogo, Nimzo. And there's so many ways you can play the Nimzo Indian. He also could have played D5 as well in the Ragozin style uh, of the Nimzo Indian here. So pawn takes and takes. Now um, there's pretty pretty strong structures I think for both sides. There's a lot of play left. It's very dynamic. You're going to be attacking the center usually with your pieces and and the pawns over just usually the pawns that you would see in most most games. Bishop back to h4. I am a fan usually of black's position in the Indians, in the Indian systems. It just depends on how you're playing it here. Don't think white's taking the best approach here with the uh, the Nimzo, as black has literally already equalized and I'm about to complete development before white's even castled. So bishop maybe d7 or f5 or even g4. Any one of these moves, probably not g4 being the least attractive, but definitely bishop f5 for something maybe on the D, d3 square. Moving his queen somewhere, maybe like a5, somewhere, right? But we have to move our queen, move the bishop out, and the rooks get connected. And we're faster in development than white is right now. And white's trying to castle. Quickly, black is, uh, yep, knight g6, very nice. Get rid of that bishop. Now we can move the queen away because uh, this won't be taking doubling the pawns, damaging the structure anymore. Uh, black to move where do we go is the question bishop f5 uh, but you need to plan you need to plan the thing about make you, you make one move that's cool but what's the next move always have a follow-up this is what we teach students always have a follow-up so bishop f5 there is it doesn't seem like a strong follow-up after bishop f5 also loose pieces lose games that means undefended pieces so this bishop being undefended is a target to to be hit by something with tempo eventually so maybe just bishop d7 strange though and you see carl was thinking Hikaru's thinking, right? Hikaru's definitely thinking here. That's a good and a bad thing. Good and bad. It's good because he's trying to figure out what he's doing and like trying to understand the position. And it's bad because when he comes out of that think, he came up with something. He came up with something. That's always scary to watch this man come up with something. It's just how it goes. Yeah, they won four games so far, these players here. Four games so far. Rick to E8 is 94 the intention. So maybe bishop f5, then knight e4. Queen b3. Don't really know what that's doing. It is defending. Oh, uh, yeah, that's this is hanging. That's why. So he defended it. b6, a6, a6, b5. Knight e7. Attacking the pawn once again, because after captures on c3, we take on d5. And we live. Can you commentate on some Faruja games? Yeah, we'll check out Faruja. Well, Faruja, hey, we, we're going to check usually who's at the top here. Because Farouge actually dropped the game. So he's actually like down right now. He's not actually in the top. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he dropped the game. He made a job. I'm not sure how many games, but he did drop one. And he's not. I mean, I'm looking at two, four, six, eight. Like there's so many games that are not his up here. He had a, a tough, uh, tough game. Knight at four. Very strong for the knight to be here at five. Uh oh. King's in the center. And then he castle queen side. Got to get the king out of center literally immediately. Immediately. How is the tiebreak score determined? Usually above who you're playing, who you played against, what they did, how they scored, things like that. Queen c2. Defending e, uh, the e4 square. Black maybe can go queen a5 now. This is uh, sort of strange. 
sort of strange. Usually you won't see castle queenside in the Indian systems, or Nimzo Indian at least. Yeah, I've, how many Nimzo Indians castle queenside? That is a good question. Not many, not many guys. Not many Nimzo Indians castle queenside, to be honest. But evaluation thinks it's equal, yeah, because they're playing off the head chess here, but you would love to be to be black in this position. Bishops putting pressure on a position. I have knights, you know, a knight and a bishop across the board here. This one is, is a leap away from doing something. Rook's on a file protecting everything. Queen can come into a five here. And of course, whoever gets to the king first in these opposite side castles is going to win here. And it looks like black is a little bit faster than white is, especially after a move like a6 and b5. a6 coming with tempo, allowing us to get the free move b5 and finish him off. So bishop b2, he steps out the way. Have a nice day. a6 anyway, because b5 is still coming. h4, he's going to try to play g4 and g5 and open it up. Can you just take this? I mean, it's there. I'm always, yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. I love taking pawns. Shout out to Yasser. You know, we love grabbing pawns. Knight takes h4, bro. That's a pawn, my guy. If I can take it and get away with it, I'm going to do it. Like, it's a pawn, bro. Knight takes g2 is a real threat. And I've also eliminated just stuff over here. Can I take this one too? And what do you do? It's a free one. You gotta be careful. You can't take everything. You can't take everything. <laughs> but man, that's another one. Be careful with taking bonds, guys. Be very careful when you take those bonds. There he is. What's up? Yes. I see him in the chat. There you go. Yeah, be very careful taking pawns though. B5, Rook H2. He says, nah, bro. You know, uh, I thought you was gonna take it. Now you're not. I'm now I'm afraid. I don't want you to take it here. So he doubles on the file, dub on the bub here, and knight f5 hitting the bishop. Bishop probably to c1. Ooh, knight g3, strong. Yikes, maybe bishop f2 then. But you didn't want to go there. You didn't want to do this either. You wanted to keep this to sack. So you really, you're not going to do this. That is not realistic. Like, that is not going to work. He played queen f6, and he's just crushing here now. Hikaru has this game all the way under control here. Up material, up on time, up everything. That's a wrap. That's the wrap. What's the music name in the break? That's a good question, actually. It's from made from chess.com or by chess.com, actually. So, okay, g3, knight has to go somewhere. Do we, though? Do we actually have to move it? Yeah, I thought so. It, it had to be something else. He took first and then played knight g6, but knight g6 was going to be hanging. 19 seconds here. There is increment, though. There is increment, but black, even down in exchange here, has a dominating position, bringing the knight into the game here. Rick's in the open files, and the only open file we have on lock right now. We have it on lock. And this one, you're not going to sacrifice your rook over here. So the rooks are actually dead pieces. They don't do anything but defend. That kind of sucks. That actually does suck. Like, you got the rooks up in exchange, but can't do anything about it. Rookie two, queen takes g3. In some cases, you know what's funny? We probably could move the king to the center and push these. The reason why we're moving the king to the center, there it is. He's pushing him. Probably put the king up on g7. Yep. And you're going to use the king as well to help. Rook f6, defend. We're going to use the rook to escort these pawns down. Queen takes c3, takes it, really. And that, that relieves a lot of pressure. But we also have two pawns. He said, yeah, we're going to trade queens, but I got two pass pawns that, that can't be stopped. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, he says. Can't stop these. Yeah, and they're rolling. And they're rolling. Fives. There's some fives here. As you see, it starts to slow down as uh, more more players can't keep up with the streak here. We got some fives, and then it dips down to four and a half. Not too much, but four and a half. So fives and a four and a half there. Okay, let's go to someone else. Misha Nick. Very strong. 30-19. 30-19. You see the rating. You see it there. He's not trying to go for a draw here. Whoa, snap. It's got to be a draw now. I can't catch you, my guy. Yeah, we're going to have to force this one. Not going to mess this one up. Let's bring the king back around. Let's bring the king around. And then push. Yep, now we push. Take, take. And he just comes back this way. I grab this one. You grab that one. And it's a draw. Shake hands. GG. We have Badur. Joe Bava here. Yikes. Come in. Yeah, let's get that off the screen. That is uh, scary. We don't want to see that one. Oh, my goodness. That was a really bad there. Bad one. Oh, man. It hurts to see those. Looks like well, yeah, this is equal. This is equal. As long as no one blunders their face here and block with their face here, this should be equal. Well, he is up that pawn, though. Is an extra one. I would be pushing if I'm black here. Oh, that was a great move. That was great. That was excellent. 
You're also covering the queen e square. We do have a bishop though, but realistically, this is not going to do it. Unless we see somebody blunder away their whole life. Because that could definitely happen. One minute chess stresses you out, huh? Then don't play one minute chess. One minute chess is fun. And it also helps with tactics. And I say helps as in like if you do a lot of tactics that day, you play some bullet chess, you're going to be sharp, you're going to be trying new stuff. But, you know, don't use it as a training method. It's always just for fun usually. Great commentary. Thanks, Scatter. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's check the standings. Z Kid, Z -Kid is Steven Zier. I know someone asked that earlier. Z Kid is Steven Zier. Oh, yeah, it's a draw. If we had extra board on this side, like more squares, you know, we would be okay. But this is a draw because we don't have any shelter for the king. Oh, and classic. You actually go to the back. Yeah, that would have blundered. Oh, but you still kind of, yeah, that would have blundered. You had to come back down here, a classical Philidor position here, as you rook check him all the way through into oblivion and infinity. Doesn't matter where you go, you can't leave the shelters. And if you go too far away, you know, we just come back over here, which he could check. I mean, checks work too. It doesn't really matter. Literally doesn't really matter. Just check and flex real hard everywhere. GG, that's how you draw an in game right there, baby. That's in game technique. Can't you imagine young M. Maurice when asking him? Let's go, OP Headhunters. Thanks, bro. Let's go. Yep, this is a draw. Should be a draw. Should be. This is a book draw here. Don't try this at home, guys, so you don't hang a rook, because this could definitely happen. Hanging a rook in this position has happened. We've seen it here on the stream. It does happen. All right. Okay, rook b6, king, yeah. Like, guys, this is mindless moving here. We're literally learning nothing. We're learning what not to do. That's what we're doing right now. Hey, guys, don't do this. Don't do this. Now, maybe, you know, if your opponent's doing this, you're forced to do it. You're forced to with your opponent doing this. But don't, you know, it's very scary because you will, you will get in trouble playing around with this. Because I'm going to tell you, let's go, Shay Rilla. Let's go, let's go. Funny thing, Ashley, almost twice. <laughs> almost. So we learn it, fam. That's right. We learn it anyway. Take the rook, take the rook. <sighs> Breathe. Brief. Slow down. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. There it is. See? 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 You almost knocked everything off the table. Okay. Fives. A lot of fives. Lots of fives here. I don't know. And sometimes they just want to bank on somebody making a mistake. Literally, that's what it's about. They just want to bank on somebody making a mistake. That's what it's about there. Chess.com does have the 50 move rule. That is correct. Oh, we got a C3 Cecile, but he's playing the delayed version, which is different. I don't play the delayed version. So, hey, James, where does the music come from in the break? Chess.com made it. Bishop D3 and then Bishop C2 in castles. Uh, yeah, he's made saving menace, saving energy for them to take the draw. Yeah. The MVL drop a game? He might have, actually. Tiger is a uh, Tiger is Gata Kamsky, which I think he's streaming. Well, he streams Arena Kings. I'm not sure if he streams Title Tuesday, but he does stream Arena Kings here. So we have what we call like the Alapin variation with the uh, Kopech, Danny Kopech system with the bishop on D3. So you guys thought this was very weird, weird and strange to see the bishop here because it is strange. But the idea here is what exactly what he did, bring the bishop to C2 and play D4 very quickly and keep this bishop on a long diagonal as a sniper being able to crush the king when he castles to this side of the board so he is playing gata kamsky right here kamsky knows what to do in these positions he says i want to trade the bishop i was definitely thinking bishop b3 because you do want to keep this light square bishop if you can keep this light square bishop you have an excellent game here now there's a choice to trade it which um is strange but actually it, it sets a trap bishop takes queen takes right bishop takes queen takes if knight c6 you play d5 and we live that's a piece we a beast. Just That's a wrap. Bishop takes, queen takes, and the knight is hanging. So knight c6 runs into d5. And if you play queen d7, then we take the knight anyway. So you actually can't take the bishop. And this is what Gata is thinking about right now. Gata is known for being in time trouble in this in these uh, these time controls. So let's see what happens. You, probably just bishop e7 and castle. There's really not much else to do. I highly, highly 
suggest, especially if you're a beginner player, to not play positions like this where your bishops are locked in. Uh, I mean, it's very bad. I think World Open 2019. World Open 2019. Yeah, you see he pushed too. World Open 2019, I played this uh, 2300 last round. I won in 20 moves, guys. Like 20 moves. But his, push, his, his pawns were like this. So out of the opening, you already have a slight advantage because the bishops can't move, causing black to waste the tempo to open the bishop up anyway, which he did here. And now white's just going to pounce. Free moves. 95 looks great. I mean, this looks gross for black here. He's just playing off the head now. It's not fun. Not fun to be in black's position. Not fun to be in black's position here. Already down a minute. White's pieces. Yeah, this is not looking good, right? Machine, thanks, bro. Yo, what up, James? What's up, Quantum? Thanks, Just. Yeah, this is this is scary. He's already down a minute on time here. Now, it's a slow push game. You know, 90 minutes, 30 second increment. You know, the big boy time controls. You know, you can think think all you want to. Maybe not all you want to, but you can think a lot. You can think a lot, right? How's the Lion Beast doing? Let's actually check the stats. Did he drop a game? I think MVL did drop a game or something. Lion Beast. Yeah, we don't even see him. Where is he at? Maybe we missed him. Maybe we missed him. Lion Beast. Dang, did he drop two games? Or did he drop out? Maybe he's down here. Yeah, we can't find him, actually. We can't find him. Having a, he might have had a tough one. I was getting... Down the of <laughs> Funny. You thought you did that. Yeah, it's outside. Okay, so Bishop takes F6. Wait, wait, let's go back. What happened here? Okay, so 95, he went back home because he said, yeah, my knight's out here in the wilderness doing nothing. Let's go back home to where we belong in civilization. Bishop G5, Bishop E7. He took on F6, takes, takes. Ah, uh, take on E4 is good. That's a pretty good one. <clears throat> Let's go here. It's a pretty good one. Okay, so knight takes. Knight takes. Yeah, everything's winning. Everything's feeling great for, for white here. Black did a great job, though, of neutralizing what he needed to. But he got 16 seconds left. Like, this is this is over. There's no time left on the clock here. You can almost do anything. Almost. Knight c3, d5. This is what you want to do in isolated pawn positions. Again, we talked about this early on, guys, is the pawn structure is the GPS. So when you have a pawn structure like this one, this is being the Isolani is what they call this pawn structure here. The Isolani pawn structure, you do need to put pieces in front of it. Usually you want to put a knight here um, or even a rook sometimes to be able to put extra pressure here. The goal is we're going to bully this pawn for in infinity. But white, on the other hand, the person with the isolated pawn needs to actually play the most aggressive chess possible. So you see queen g4, rook d1. It, the more that you trade pieces as white, this is going to be a wrap. You're going to be in trouble, and you can't hold because this pawn's going to drop. Uh, it's very bad for an end game. So you want to keep pieces on, and black is trying to get pieces off. That, yeah, it worked. It takes, takes. Kind of a strange way to do it, but he says you got a weak pawn as well. I got one, you get one. And as you see, the evaluation bar says it's equal. Six seconds here, though. If, if, if God had, had more time, he'd be able to play this correctly. I mean, isn't like... He, he would have more time and he, he should be able to draw now not that this is this is not an easy draw he he does have a lot of drawing chances though queen g6 trying to trade the queens off attacking this pawn he says no not today queen a6 is hanging brings the rook over maybe uh press him rook c5 trying to double this pawn's still weak though queen f3 hitting c6 queen e5 hitting the rook queen d5 queen c7 Threatening c6 twice makes him look for the king. I'm taking the pawn. Rook was hanging. This was hanging as well. Maybe play b5. One second here for Gata. Yeah, yeah. Time gets him every time. Not every time, but... Wow, that's how many times did we say time in the sentence there? But time is a, time is a big factor for Gata. Gata Kamsky has a, uh, a problem there in, in the time issue. And, and he's not the only one, guys. Like, the time trouble is extremely hard. Especially when you're playing Ikaru Nakamura. Like, come on. Come on, bro. What else are you? Like, what are you even saying, right? Six out of six for Ikaru. Kuban was six out of six. International master from Russia. Uh, makes sense. They are born 2100 over there. Look at it. Hold up. Hey, hold up. Look at Russia, right? Look at Russia. It's representing Russia. Uh, Russia. 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 Russia right here. Russia right there. Russia everywhere. 
I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, they are born 2100 over there. Look at this. Look at how Russia represents in the, in the, in the standings here. Er, oh, sorry. There's another one. <laughs> we missed another Russian there. This is ridiculous, bro. Russia taking over, right? I mean, they've always been like the, the number one. But still, it's just funny to see it right here. All them Russian flags there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. They're going crazy over there. They're going crazy over there, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah, U.S. Yeah, U.S. is in there. But, I mean, whoa. Okay, so it's only U.S. and Russia right here that you can see on the screen. U.S. and Russia. That's all you can see. That's, that's pretty funny. But at the same time, guys, like, that is insane. What's the number next to six? The number next to six is the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker. Oh, we got another flag in here. Ukraine. Nice. UK or Ukraine. Nice. Over 200 GMs. Yes, yes, that's right. Man, that is crazy. So this looks like. No, that's not a draw because I don't have any. I'm not even prepared for a draw, which means I need to. My king needs to be active and I also need to have these pawns advanced because those two factors are there. I'm, I'm not this is a win you actually put the king here and then you need to yeah, you put the king into the little cubby hole here And then you bring the rook out maybe to cut the king off a little bit. How are we gonna get out of that though? Rook here Rook up. Yeah, rook here rook up king over push You can play rook here instead I probably would have went rook here just to defend one of these while I'm queening same thing though same thing though, GG. Anton, what we got? Oh, yikes. Usually Rook Bishop versus Rook is a draw, and we say usually, and it does take technique. But with these extra two pawns here, I mean, this is a wrap. Check, snap, snap, Bishop takes, easy one. Walk the king through, yeah, it's easy one, GG. Start a new one there. Tigra, I forgot who Tigra was. Remember that name, I don't remember who it was though. Canty Canty, what's up, KK? What's going on, Mini Mank? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, bro. Okay. Huh. Time scramble. Peace count blacks up a pawn. Compensation, we have the seventh rank. Draw. Should be. Should be draw. Should be draw. Take on G6. He could have taken. Oh, well, he's going to take with the rook. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Rook G5 and we live. Shoot, if you press too hard, if you press too hard, like we, we could pick up more than a draw here. If you press too hard here, King G1, King F2. Okay, you pressing a little bit too hard, big fella. Uh-oh, don't block with your face. I told you, yeah, he pressing too hard, too much. What well, is this? Three seconds on the clock. So what do you expect, right? He has a few seconds on the clock. It's hard to calculate in this time, no matter where who you are. Like... It's, the time will affect you in some way. Rook, oh, that would have been a blunder, obviously. You want to, you're trying to get the rook here. Like rook g5 would have been able to take and then take the pawn. Because you got you got you got these things you have to worry about. Can we take with the bishop? Yeah, and then get out of the way. King here, and now we have that second pawn. Bring the bishop to g4. Okay, check works. Bishop g4. Okay, bishop here instead. You're gonna push that boy through. Walking the dogs. Four seconds on the clock. Two seconds. There is this one second increment, guys. Oh, he almost dropped a piece. Almost. Luckily, he had that check here. That was hanging. Bishop f5. Rook f6. That works too. King g5 and we live. Get the king in there. h6 works. King g. There it is. There it is. Get the king close to him. Put him on the file with a smile. Right, how do we finish this off, though? It's not that clear yet. He flagged though. Cool. We'll take the flag. We take those. We take those. Six out of six. A lot of sixes. Not a lot. I mean, literally six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have six sixes here. And that is the end of round six. This is round seven now. Sweet. Round seven is live. Like the commentary. Thanks, Wonderwork. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, a lot of Russians. What's up, Rando? Flex real hard. We in here, big fella. Let's go. What's good, James? What's up, Shmuel? Boris? Oh, that was Boris Samchenko. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. Yes. Can't see my boy. What's up, Adrian? What is up? Welcome to the stream, bro. I do, Munga. Welcome to the stream, Munga. Yes, that's mine right there. 
So we have a, a Dutch system here. Nice. I have tried the Dutch. I looked at some Simons Williams material, playing the classical Dutch with f5, e6, bishop, e7, trying to play e5, literally every game. Very simple, but extremely hard to play, you know, in 25, 2600s. You know, usually that's who I'm playing, like 25, 2600, but it's, uh, it's hard playing that, bro. That stuff is not that easy. But it is fun what he has against the London system with uh, bishop d6 early. Pretty fun. Putting the bishop in front of the pawn. It's like, I like playing that one, but... This Dutch, unless Stonewall, the Stonewall is a great Dutch, which is a favorite of Magnus. Uh, Stonewall is a good Dutch, too. I'm King's Indian for life, though. KID for life. Following for sure, so I can see your own style when you play. Thanks, bro. Love the Dutch, says Mackie. Yeah, absolutely. Dutch is, if you start early, I think, with the Dutch, same thing with, like, the Night Orf, too. You start early with it, you know, being one of your first openings, I mean, by that, then you, 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 you can have a lot of success later on with experience. Any opening is like that. Literally any opening, you get years of experience on it. You know, that's good. That's really good. That's really, really good. King's Indian the best. Hey, I, hey, you know, I remember there's a quote by Bobby Fisher says, uh, I remember the moment that my game changed. Something like that. It was, my game changed when I realized I can play for a win with black. And that's when he discovered the King's Indian defense. And I was like, bet. That's, look, that's, I, I like it. You know, I'm looking for swashbuckling chess anyway. You know, that's my kind of stuff. Do you play Tile Tuesday? Uh, I actually have played a while ago. Probably, it's been a long time since I played in Tile Tuesday. Last one I played, though, I got my best score was six. Six. Uh, I took down some GMs, some IMs, and lost to some GMs and some IMs. So, literally, like, 50%. 50%. Took down some GMs and IMs, lost to some GMs and IMs. So, it was, like, 50-50. I got six wins, five losses to some big boys in there. Long time ago, though. What rating do you recommend people to play Roy Lopez? You can start at any level, actually. Roy is a classical opening. Swashbuckling, that's right. That's my kind of chess crosser. Reverse Dutch? Yes. Reverse Dutch would be, uh, what is that? Um, bird? Bird opening? What's up, man? What's up? Flamingo. You have great chess talent? You go to the school of Botvinnik. Best in the world. Yeah. Buckles of Swash. Let's go, yeah. Let's go. Okay, this strange position, and we say strange, there's double pawns here, king in the center here, but Dutch positions are strange. So you get wild positions, something you've never seen before. So there's a Dutch line, and some of you guys will remember. Um, there's a Dutch line. Yeah, Jay Wee, Jay Wee, you must be from Detroit, Jay Wee. You already know. That's right, bro. We represent. Do you have recommended openings to learn for beginner 1000? Do you have recommended openings to learn for recommended 1000 player, 1000 rated players? I mean, yes and no. You could you could try London system, which is a simple one. Bishop's opening right, Carol Khan, French defense, London, yeah, London French right. And Roy Lopez is also a classic too. Uh, Italian game, one of the most played. Just put the bishop on c4. I did that for a long time until I learned the Roy Lopez. I just play e4, knight f3, bishop c4. And then just hoped for the best. Just like that was it. It was a very simple way of playing. Very, very simple way of playing. You know, Greek sacrifice. Yes. Learn to play the fantasy. Yeah, fantasy is nice. Awesome. Thanks, mate. No problem, DCB. No problem. So in this position here, we have an active rook. Activity will trump material most times. That's a quote from Gary Kasparov. So you want to make sure. Activity, what does that mean? My pieces are more active than yours. Yeah, this rook's doing something, but this one's a little bit more active than this rook. And now we got this pawn that we can do some work with. And you have a doubled one with rook g4 taking. Man, my rook might get trapped in there, to be honest. I might want to do it with my knight. That's going to take a lot of moves, to be honest. But this rook, I mean, this pawn is, uh, oh, can you not go? Oh, my goodness. No, that's not mate. Why can't he go king f7? Strange. Strange. 96 being the intention, guys. He also, he also has king f7. So not that this matters. Like if knight e6, you could go king f7. Just play the fry, uh, pray for the fry liver. I mean, right, you know, hope for the best. Look, hey, you can get very far by hoping for the best with e4, e5, knight e3, bishop c4. But you do have, have to have a lot of fundamentals, and I study mostly tactics in that phase of my game um, in that time. Um, literally nothing but tactics and a few, one or two openings. Knight takes c6. It's black to move, huh? What do I do here? A white to move. Take on c6. Yeah, this is supposed to be a draw. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hikaru always is looking for something more. I will be too, though. Learn the Traxler. Oh, that Traxler is nice. Against the Fry Liver? That's a scary one. 
Oh, am I losing material? What if I just check and play Rook F3? And then I'm okay. I defend the Knight and I got what I wanted and I dip out. Maybe Knight check too. No, he has King F1. Yep, takes and then Rook F3 is better. Rook here, you go right into a pin. Maybe you could though. You could go back to D2 and then check and play Knight B2. And that'd be the way because you don't want to put yourself in a voluntary pin. That's usually bad. He also says best defense is offense. So now I can hit this Knight and then move mine out of the way with no danger of my Rook hanging. Check, flex real hard. We go King F8. No, maybe not. Rook takes. No, but this is hanging. Yeah, so maybe King F8. If you're trying to play for a win, King G8 is just shuffle back and forth. But King H8, wow. Strange. I mean, if you... What? King H8? King H8. It, who would have played King H8 in this position? Who would have played King H8? I don't think it would have been you. I know I wouldn't have. King's Gambit. Nachmanson Gambit. Quantum Knights. And Nachmanson's fun. Thanks, appreciate it, Levy. There's another Levy, or Levi, actually. Because we, we know Levy Rosman, but there's a Levi Jensen in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Thanks, bro. Where do I buy my hats? I got, um, I actually like wearing my own hats that from uh, Streamlabs. That's not a move right there on my hat. That's right. You read the YouTube live comments or just, just the Twitch ones because it's easier? You always thought it was Tilted Tuesday? Yes. Everyone thinks it's Tilted Tuesday for some reason. Everyone always. It's titled, guys. Titled. Meaning everyone here has a title. Titled Tuesday. Not Tilted Tuesday. These guys aren't tilted. Some of them are. Some of them will be tilted after this. But Titled Tuesday is what this is. Titles. No one. Everyone with a title can play in this tournament. You know, so just in case you thought it was tilted. It took months for... <laughs> It took months. It's Title Tuesday, guys. Titled, right? All right, we got seven out of seven for Artemiev. Wow. Where's he from? Somebody put it in the chat. Where's he from? Look at this. I mean, they they taking over here, dog. Like, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one right here. We keep scrolling. We're going to see more, right? This is insane. Yeah, yeah. Russia all through there. All through here, guys. All through here. Russia. Seven out of seven. Russians are monsters. They literally born 2100 plus. It's easy. It's easy for them. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, one second. We about to flag. Oh, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Just take it. Don't even think. Check. Flex real hard. Take there. Oh, he might take the draw. Oh, he's trying to take with check. I got you. Nice. Nice. And then he's playing G4. He's fighting. This man playing good. Even with no time. King F2. Yeah, stop him. Boy, this is crazy. You never see positions like this. King F2, you take the draw, push it. Push it. Pass pawns must be pushed. Oh, but you can't do nothing about that. That's a good move. Yikes. They got to walk his king over or try to at least. Rook takes. Mm, I don't think that's enough, my guy. Yeah, that's not enough there, my guy. That's not enough. If it was... Tilt to the LT reverse. Yes, yes. James and Alice again. What's up, Sinte? You already know David Howell doing well. Yeah, David Howell's a monster. Tips and tricks for beginners. Tips and tricks for beginners. So you can watch YouTube videos on tricks. Tips wise, any tips too, you can watch YouTube videos. But you do want to have um make sure you have one opening for white, two for black. So you have something to focus on. You need two for black because you have to you have to play against E4 and D4. That's why you need two for black. Um, and tactics every single day 80% tactics 20% everything else until you get uh, to a certain level then that switches up and percentage changes Knights are scary Knights are scary that's why you got to watch them watch every move that knight can make every single one what's the highest elo you hit on chess.com highest elo blitz 2651 um, bullet 2660 I think and then in um, USCF, I'm at my highest right now, 2317, which is very low for me, like 2300, bro. I can spot 2300s, not bragging, but I can definitely spot 2300. But it is uh, 2317 and 2221. So I'm playing, I'm actually got a tournament coming up this month. It's going to be fun, bro. King D2, Rook C. I was trying to get Rook C4 in, but I can't. Oh, that was good. But then you can't queen. Dang, he playing good here. Oh, Rook D2. What do you do? That was that was super good there. That was fire. Rook D2. Yo, check that move out. Rook D2 was excellent. Oh, my goodness. That's a wrap. Just queen. What are you doing? What are we doing? What? How's black winning? Oh, it's equal. 
it's equal. Really? How is this equal? Not anymore. King here. Come on. Come on. That works. That works. We'll take them. We'll take those. We'll take those. That's right. Yo, don't block with your face. This is a family channel. Don't do this. Okay. This is a queen, guys. We're going to queen this one. And we're on the right square. Or uh, not the wrong bishop, but we still can queen. King here. Queen, right? Make sure there's no stalemate. And mate. There we go. There we go. GG. Nice one. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's check the standings. And then two with seven. Only two with seven. Wow, live tourney. That's right. You already know Black Star. Still going on it. Still going on it. Okay. Let's go to the next round here. Where did Hikaru go? Here we go. He's playing David Howell now. Oh, here it is. Knight of three and B3. He says, David Howell, you know, I'm not about to play nothing H3 out the opening. You know, he's more bona fide. We're going to play our system because he plays this all the time. All the time. There are books written and they, you know, they always compliment Hikaru on this all the time. You know, it's crazy. Good luck in the tournament. Thank you, Croco. Appreciate it. What do you think of the perk? Uh, I crushed the perk. I am not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. I even put a YouTube video out on it. But is uh, I mean, th there's times that it's really strong. But I'm not playing the perk. I will play the King's Indian, but I will not play the perk. I like easy dubs, easy dubs. Yeah. Carl should make a video on a modern. Yeah, he should. He should. Modern and B3. Like. Literally, he does these these flexible openings. We I mentioned this yesterday too about his flexibility. He just he plays openings that give him options, and when you have options, you can choose from things, and it gives you. It's good and bad to have options. The good thing is that you have the options. You can find flexibility and creative resources that you may not have had if you don't have options, and you're forced to play one way. This is why B three is very nice, and also the modern. But of course, Hikaru is developed at a level that is so high. That he can play these flexibility openings and have great success with them. And someone else, it's going to be a lot harder. Because you do need to understand the ideas and the themes behind the moves. That's uh, that's the hard part. That's the hard part, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Appreciate it. James, you got YouTube content? I do. Cookie Pie. I said my, uh, you can just go to, uh, click on the About tab in my uh, my channel right there. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this Knight B5 move. Uh, now, I'm seeing him think... I was thinking d6 was like the only move there. Like, but why didn't he play d6? Is definitely a question. Definitely something to question there. But he got rid of that bishop that was increasing so much pressure there. Extremely hard pressure. Knight coming to d6 is still annoying, but not as annoying anymore. We talked about this before. You need to follow up every single move. So if I go knight d6, my follow up may be knight e4. He just takes it though. I just kind of wanted to keep that knight just to maybe keep f6 alive at one day. One day. Now we in game for real. And black's doing fine. Black's doing fine now. I felt like white was doing better. Why can't you just take the pawn? You know what I was thinking that too? It, was there a knight takes d6, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes f6? That's probably what it was about. That's probably what it was about. Huge trade. Yeah, mini make. Yeah, that probably was it. If d6, knight takes, rook takes, 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 all them takes happening. Yeah. What books do you recommend to study King's Indian? It's a great question, actually. Uh, well, there's a, there's I use a lot of theory and games, so not necessarily many books that I'll have, but there are some books online that are, uh, are pretty good. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't like White's position anymore. I, not that I don't like it. I like the pressure here. This is weak. But we kind of like, like, look at the pieces, right? Everything's on the back rank. Everything's back here. Queen's pretty active. Bishop's pretty nice. File, not much. We do have a5, a4 eventually. That's what you want to do to this kind of type of structure. D5, well, this is going to highlight how weak this is. Yeah, I like G5. Open it up. King H8, Rook G8, we great. And put the, oof. Man, he hidden. He's swinging. He's swinging right. Yo, yo, he's swinging. He is swinging right now. You got to put something on F3. Knight f3 probably because it's defending. Maybe rook f3 though, with the intention of rook g3. Yeah, he played knight f3 though. He's swinging though. He's definitely. I'm not going down, Hikaru. I know you know how to fight. I'm not going down without a fight. He's swinging and fighting for his life right now. Fighting for his life against Hikaru. How are you today? We're good, man. How are you? 
One line is a fire. What's up, Drizzy? Best commentator. Thanks, bro. Big swings. He's swinging at him. He really are. He really is. Rookie. <laughs> GA, we great. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's funny. Hi. What's up, K. Gamma? Yeah, man. You need to come and take out Park Champs. That'd be great, man. Absolutely. I'm, I'm definitely down. Queen takes C5, like we said. We mentioned this before. You're nice and cool. Thanks, Gong. C5 was a, uh, was a pawn that is definitely... Uh, weak, right? If D5 would have happened, then we was going to take on C5. So, loving your style. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Remy? No, we're good. We're good. 40 seconds here. Or going on 40 seconds for David Howe. Got to be extremely careful here. David Howe is getting in drastic time trouble. Even though this is one second increment. Howdy. What's going on, bro? Is David Howe playing against Hikaru right now? Yes, that's exactly who's playing against Hikaru right now. Right now. Yeah, and there it is. Rook G8 and we great, big fella. He got it in. H5, H4, Queen B2, Rook D2, or Rook F2. I got you. I got you. Maybe try to keep the king or get the king to jump here. So maybe just a, a desperado check. Because in a way, like he doesn't have to. Uh-oh. Engine went crazy. Rook takes c6, and we in the mix. That's a wrap. Start a new one. Rook takes c6. Tactics win games. Hope you did your puzzle rush today. Rook takes c6. There it is. It's on the board. It's on the board. He's not going to miss those. We don't miss those, big fella. We don't miss those. We don't miss those, bro. Hey James, you know, are you going to make your friends? Call your grandma. That, that's right, absolutely. Quantum, you guys know, great commentary. You have a big love for the game. Thanks, Joe. Cool, appreciate it. Yeah, he found it. I mean, he's not going to miss that kind of thing. He was not going to miss that. <laughs> G Husky, let's go. Whatever works. Do your puzzle rush right now, Munga. That's right. And I want you to do it for 30 minutes every single day, at least. You know, I'll do a stream of just an hour or two hours of us doing puzzle rush. All right. GG. Yeah, he, he, he fought for his life. He fought hard. Playing Hikaru, you get in time trouble. You know, what else can you say there, right? But he didn't go down without a fight. Like, he definitely was swinging and fighting for his absolute life. And he did go down, but he did fight. And that's what you want. And now uh, you, you learn. You learn from everything. Flex real hard. Divine discipline. That's right. We got four players with seven and a half here. And then others after that. Let's see how many games we got left in this round. Misha Nick's playing. Oh, you got Grandulus playing in here too? Gee, we didn't even see him. Grandulus. Saw him playing in Tata Steel. He's playing. You got Min Lee over here too. We already saw him. Misha Nick playing with the black pieces here. It looks like we're going to queen. Bishop C596. Oh, snap. Hold up. Don't block with your face. Yeah, we, we didn't see that. Nobody saw that. That's like... You stepped out in the street, looked both ways, everything was good, and you still stepped out in the street and got hit. How did it happen? We don't know. And that's exactly what happened there. Yikes. But he was already losing. I mean, queen queen was coming, right? Down on time. Nothing's working. Nothing's working there. I'm teaching, right? King F3 playing E4. Check, flex real hard. White should be winning because we have the extra pawn in the rook. But this is uh, it's it's still technical, meaning this is gonna take some time. It's not gonna be easy at all, by far. Even though the engine says plus two, right? But like, how do you make progress? You have to be maybe you gotta walk the king around this way to make some real progress, because it's not easy. It's really not an easy task to do at all. As you see, look how he's how many moves he's making with the rook, right? Moving the rook around, trying to figure this out. Knight goes here. You can't advance, right? Kingy six, and the looks are very deceiving in chess. Like it says, it's plus two. But, like, what's your real clear plan, right? And it is, it's hard to do this. It's very hard to do this. So, <laughs> funny. I'm coming to appreciate it. GM Chess Queen, yes, yeah, she's playing. Look at this. Plus two, though, right? Evaluation sometimes is confused. They're, but they, they always go with the material first, though. Engine Matt. Yeah, they always go with the material first. They're, you have more material. That makes sense. Uh-oh. We might have an advancement now. Now we got something. We might. We got a little something here. That it just fizzled out into nothing. The reason why he's not playing E5, guys, if you're asking, why doesn't he just push the pawn, trade the pawn off? You know, playing E5, wait, oh, snap, he lost. He lost somehow here. Engine going crazy. Engine going crazy right now. Engine going nuts. Yeah. Check, take the knight, take the knight. Oh, he had it. He had, that works too. 
my my idea was check take the night and then king takes and it's a, a book book win book win there it's a book win but the reason where, why he didn't ever push the pawn is if you push the pawn when you push the pawn in this situation pushing the pawn makes it a draw and this is the technique you usually want to keep the king in the night i think it's one square in between so you'll be able to move or move around it and do the checks as you need to they still gonna play to play that out though but uh, it was supposed to be a draw, you know, and, and, yeah. he, he kind of wiggled his way out of that. And that's what you're supposed to do, though. Fight to the finish. Oh, here, this is a book draw. Check this out, guys. This is what they call the Philidor position. Go look it up. If you don't know what it is, it's the Philidor position. Go look it up. He kind of gave it up, though. He shouldn't have gave up the third rank. What is he doing? Check him. Oh, man, he in trouble. Bro, you are messing this up. You are messing this up. Luckily... He can get out of this. Yeah, he still found a way. I think his back rank. Yeah, his back rank here. But usually you want to keep him on the third rank. And then when he advances, you go to the back and check into Oblivion here. But here he found it. He found it. This is a very nice draw. Check. Check again. Oh, that works too. That's very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Just take it. What are you doing? Okay, don't. Don't. Hey, man. Don't do this. Okay. Don't scare everybody here. Scaring everybody. Rook takes will be a blunder, guys. <laughs> Rook blocking with your face. Why would you do this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't do it to yourself. You do yeah, EU friendly time stream. Uh friendly time stream. Sometimes. It depends, man. Sometimes. Okay, last game of this round here. Let's see if somebody blocks what they face here. I see him in my black pussy face. Okay, host. Thank you, Mono. Okay, Rick here. Check flex real hard. Yeah, this is a, a draw. Come on, man. Just make the draw. There it is. 50 move rule. Thanks, chess.com, for not having to sit here for four hours watching them move this rook back and forth until somebody inevitably blunders and doesn't want to do this anymore. All right, well, that is uh, that is a wrap for round eight. We see some seven and a halves here. Very, very, not strange, but like no one has eight. Usually you'll see some eights. No one has a perfect score. That's crazy. All have seven and a half, though. Pretty nice there. So um, great chess, as we always see here on Title Tuesday, guys. We're going to take a Sorry, we're going to take a short break. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with the last three rounds, guys. So don't go anywhere. Appreciate everyone.
Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's that time. It is that time. We are um, in the last three rounds of Title Tuesday. Three minutes, one second increment, $1,600 prize fund, guys. We're going to get right back into the games because they're starting right now. So use the big boy games the last few rounds here as we see Hikaru blitzing out moves against Misha Nick. Why? Because this is still theory. This is one of the most aggressive ways to play the Nimzo Indian here starting from the beginning. Knight f6, e6, and bishop to b4 going into the Nimzo. Nowadays, you see knight f3 avoiding the Nimzo lines, which you'll have to go into the Regrosin Nimzo if you want to play that way with d5 and bishop b4 happening anyway. But here in this situation, this is more of the aggressive lines with d5 attacking the center with the pieces and the pawns at the same time. As we get a very nice position here, I was a big fan of this from the black pieces. And knight to d7, queen a5. We love the aggression here from Hikaru. Look at this g5. Don't try this at home, y'all. Don't try this at home, okay? G5, which is a king right here, right? But this is King Zindian style as well. If you are a King Zindian player, you're familiar with pushing the H6 and G5 pawns in front of your king already. So in this situation, definitely favoring black here just because of the aggression and how he's facing this Nimzo Indian. Pretty nice. But you do have to tread lightly. You have to tread lightly. So let's see the rest of the game. Let's catch up to the moves. This is the position we have now here. Someone offered a draw, and it was taken. It was taken, but this is, I think, a theoretical draw, to be honest. Uh, I think this is a theoretical draw. They just took a draw because there's like not a lot to play for. Misha Fortune draw. Yeah, this is like a theoretical, I think, some type of draw from Nimzo, Theory Book, whatever. But here, and then they just took a draw, move 19 here, right? They just took a draw. Draw is why? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, anyone else, you, sh you should really play this on, you know. Yeah, yeah. What is a theoretical draw? Meaning straight from the book. Uh, the book gets here draw by repetition due to blah blah blah. But I think because the bishop has uh, weaknesses or the king has weaknesses in the light squares, that you know eventually are going to be exploited. But also we have weaknesses as well. But there's no dark square bishop, but our queen covers it quite well. We also do have king h eight f six queen f seven rook f seven rook g seven to consolidate. Pretty nice. You also have rook c eight to hit the file here where this pawn is. It's like. It's dynamically balanced, and honestly, anyone else should play this out. You should play this out, absolutely. But they wanted to take a draw, seven and a half here. They both got seven and a half. It is what it is. Whatever, right? They just took a draw, so you know that's three. That's thirty-two hundred chests there. That's three. When you get three thousand, you know, then you can you can take whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, whenever, however you want. You, they both over three thousand, so like. Move three, they want to draw, they want to draw. That's just how it go. You know, you can't question it. James again, great host. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Ghosty. Don't block with your face. That's right. That's right. So, you know, but eight out of nine for both of these players here, Hikaru and Misha Nick. Excellent. Let's go on to some new, some more games, though. So now we can check some other ones out. We're going to check out Artemiev, who plays very strong here, representing Russia. You already know how strong they are over there. Love this position from white here, loving the, the bishop. We both have the bishop pair. We have a stronger center. Now, yes, we have a strong center, but th there's two, two sides to it. And also, there's like a good and a bad side to this center right now. The bad side is that there are no pawns defending this center, only by pieces, which means they're actually weaker than they would be if they were pawns defending the center. So this bishop's, the bishop's doing fine. These are cool. But, you know, like, knight a5 is really strong. Threatening knight c4. Now give me the bishop here, please. And I'm going to put some pressure on your center at the same time. This is a really strong chess here. Really strong. You might see rook to c1. Just to even stop knight c4 being as, no as annoying that as, as that is. Engine moved a little bit here. Rook d1. They didn't like rook d1 too much. And I understand. I mean, knight c4 is just annoying. And then you have to give up the bishop. So you give up the bishop here. And then you have this constant pressure on your center. You know, you can't really advance it. It's kind of a problem. Kind of a problem there. So he just pulled up his accuracy. How on earth the entire game was booked, and he did it with more than time. He started with <laughs> JP. I know, man. That's a lot of chess right there, bro. That's a lot of chess. You know what I'm saying? Love this host. Will you be covering Twitch Rivals as well? I'm actually playing in Twitch Rivals, so I will be in Twitch Rivals with a partner later today. It's coming up. JD Kai, welcome to the stream, bro. I need my face. That's like getting a free black guy. <laughs> for real. All right, let's go back. I, did, I think he, yeah, he did. Well, he went for that knight c4, right? Yep. And then we trade everything off, and now we have that isolated pawn here. That is, it's weak, but it's strong. Weak but strong, kind of. Weak but strong. Like it's weak, obviously, but it's also kind of strong. So now this is annoying. Dang, you gotta. You either have to push. Yeah, he gotta put in the reason. There it is. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you know, it looked like, you know, the front door is open and you're just leaving. A, imagine just opening your door to your house 
and just leaving the door open. Just leaving it open. Nothing's going on. Door is just open. So that's what that's what this is right here. Like this this door is just straight up open. So he is slightly in trouble here. Slightly. Not a lot because you do need more than just a queen to do this. But it's kind of like it's, it's open. Right? King goes to F1. And we do have this pawn to offset us being open like this. We'll see what happens. Come on in. I mean, imagine that, right? Your door wide open. Like, you know, it's just all day wide open. That's what this is right here, my guy. For a noob like me. What's up, 40? What's going on? Or 4,000? 40 OE? It could, that could be like four different things. Rookie three, defending. King is in the middle of the street, kind of. Actually, maybe not. We like on a, on a you know, on a curb. We chilling on a curb. But check. It's kind of scary. Bring us out a little bit. But we still have to worry about this pawn is black. And there's 20 seconds. Whoa, hold up. Clock is definitely an issue here. You have to use the clock as a piece as well. D7? Isn't that just winning? Rick D5. Okay, wait a second. Is this got to be winning? 40 ounce of OE. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. You can be hit by a car. Correct. Correct. Yeah. What is Title Tuesday? Title Tuesday is every um the title players, best of the best. If you have a title, you can play in this tournament. Here, I think it's just oh, you can't play rookie three. That's not a move. So rookie seven though. Yeah, I like that. And then queen f6 to maybe follow up just to go into the position. What if queen takes f3? Uh you gotta try it. Shoot, what else do you have? Queen takes f3 is annoying. But then maybe, ooh, yeah, queen, queen e2 is a blunder. So what would have happened on queen takes f3? Many other players would have played this. Not only do we have the potential to check on both sides, um, we're also stopping queen f6. So after queen e5 now, strange, queen takes f3 again. If rook here, you have check, right? That was the idea. Taking the pawn, if he plays rook down, then you would take, you would check him here and then come back and take on um, d7. Wow, that is crazy. Why he just flagged the man? Flagged my guy, man. The man flagged there. Hi right, again. What's up, going? What's going on? Why not rook d three? Uh oh yeah yeah. Well rook d three would have uh would have um would have dropped a rook. Would have dropped a full one. Oh this is a uh, Andrew Gort. No never mind. That's not it. that's he has another name. Konovitz. I forgot who that was. Who won this game? White one. Nice check there. Mating mating nice mate let's check the stats artemiev russia shout out to russia once again man jeez russia over here representing today not that they don't but man they represent so hard we in here what's up bro what's going on sam simian so yeah do you think you see more ideas when you're commentating or playing honestly playing when i'm playing you see more ideas especially when you have more time on the clock that's why i do very very well in classical chess very very well in classical chess we in here, bro. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Ooh. Yeah, Russia sent their whole army. <laughs> for real, bro. Look at this. Russia sent their whole army for this tournament. Russia right here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six out of the ten places are all from Russia. Six out of the ten. Insane. That's crazy. The problem, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get some of the fire music here. Yeah, next time though. What's up, Dan Manchu? Dan Manchu, let's check this game though. Let's go back to this game. Max Sudo, six out of eight. Well, it's actually ten. Um, sorry, you, it was uh ten places down here. I was looking down here too. These last two. You know, that's crazy. How often do title Tuesday players? Uh, no, 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 they don't. It, that, that's rare. Very rare, bro. Very rare. H4. Because, like, they don't be doing they don't, they don't need to do that. Peter Spindler, great commentary. Fine Gold in the chat. Everybody, let's get a shout-out to Fine Gold in the chat. Ben Fine Gold, the man himself. Don't play F3 or F6 around him if you value your life. Fine Gold in the chat. Everybody say what's up to Big Ben in the chat. Just like that. Ben Fine Gold. All right, so... Uh, this is, hmm. Can you just take that? I probably would no. I probably would have taken that just to try it. Knight takes play king here. Then I could take that one too and take that one. You might have gotten away with that. The black's definitely doing fine here. Black's definitely doing fine here. Best commentary. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. More like Russia. Yeah, more like Russia Tuesday. You know, this is Title Tuesday. More like Russia Tuesday. <laughs> Russian Tuesday. 
That's crazy, but it was going off today. Russians just went off today. They represent it, man. You from Russia? Shout out to you. Where's black going? Black's going this way. So we're trying to queen, but pawns are way too far away. Way too far away. You just put the king on f6 and chill, maybe? No, you can't chill. You cannot chill. So you gotta be very, very careful. What do you play against the perk? Um, I like to play the Roman DG has Vili system, which was um, Roman DG has Vili, which was uh, h3. So h3, actually. h3 is uh, early. You play early h3, so you can put the bishop on e3, so you avoid knight g4. Then after they castle, you usually play uh, a4 after they play c6 early in the opening. If they play a6 or c6, you play an early a4. If they put the knight on d7, usually the knight b from d7, you play d4. Then you push for e5 very early. After knight e8 or d7, you play e6. After they take with the f pawn, then you play h4, run the h pawn down. Sack it, play knight g5, bishop d3, sack on h5. It's nasty. It's a very nasty system. I used it a lot. I used it a lot. It's, uh, I've been using it a very long time, to be honest. But uh, there's new stuff out that you can use against the perk. For instance, the check perk is annoying to face now with the early C6. So you have to know how to face that one. Because it doesn't work against the check perk, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Wesley So has some nice material about that, though. Very, very nice material about, um, about that. Pretty nice, bro. Pretty nice. That's why I play against the perk, my guy. Thanks for the quick lesson on the perk variation. No problem, man. I actually got a YouTube video on it too. You can check my channel um, on Twitch and then go over to the YouTube and you can check it. It's under the perk section. C3. Uh, I like what Hikaru was playing here. Of course, we got a Roy. Classic Roy, right? Classic Roy. Let's start from the beginning. Classic Roy. Classic. This should be five. This should be three. This is literally, you can do this in your sleep. You can do this without even looking at the board. This is just regular classical Roy Lopez stuff. About knight B to knight B to D2, knight G1, knight F1, knight to G3, even sometimes with the inclusion of G4 happening, and then bringing this boy around like this. Uh, some type of King's Indian, though. It's really, that's very strange. Now that I play the King's Indian, you can see positions, and this looks like a King's Indian, though, but it's a Roy Lopez. That's, from a Roy Lopez perspective, that's fire, actually. Never thought of that. I'm not going to start playing the Roy anymore because of that. But it's just, that was uh, that was interesting to see how King's Indian like this position is now. With Knight H5, you're going to put the King on H8, correct? Play F5, F4, just like you would in a King's Indian. That's fire. That's pretty sweet. Now, we went from a Roy Lopez to an Indian. A King's Indian here where, you know, Black's feeling good. Black's feeling good here. This is a big boy game too. Hikaru versus Artemiev, who's very, very strong. Very, very strong. Isn't that the Berlin? This is not a Berlin. Berlin, if this was a Berlin, we would all be asleep here right now. We would all be sleeping while this game is going. Very, very, very boring chess. How do you get better in chess? We would, um... Well, how do you get better in chess? You have to keep playing, man. Experience, it's literally tons of things. Tactics being one of the biggest things. He, he blundered. Is it knight of seven? Or is it bishop f7? He blundered. So where's the blunder? What's the move? I knew bishop f7. Oh, yeah. That's better because after rook takes, queen takes h5, and we live. Start a new game, big fella. Start a new game. Yikes. Oh, my goodness. Tactics win games. You see? you like, how do you get better at chess? Do tactics. Look at this. Look at this. This is a wrap. Like, how did he win through a tactic? 99% of your games, until you get very strong, are going to be won off tactics. That's crazy. Just quick tactic hit him. Flex real hard, right? He did his puzzle rush today. Bishop takes... You just take the piece. Because check king e7, he's out the way. So you just take the piece. Just take it anyway. Yeah, he's uh, he's under fire here. He's trying to figure out the best way to play this because he know he's losing. And he's taking his time. Now he's going down on time. This is when you start thinking. And then you're just like, man, how I suck, right? You know, but you don't suck. But you're just like, I suck. And you hate the game right now. Everybody goes through this when you get in a losing position. You say tactics, it means puzzles. Correct, 420, Nick. That's right. Puzzles. Lots and lots of puzzles. Puzzle rush. Um, yeah, thousands, right? Yeah, that's about right, Jay. That's about right. Tactics win games. Big fella, that's right, Sid, man. Chess puzzles are so fun. And they help as well. They help your game drastically. So F4, I think. But, I mean, this is defended, by the way. So, just so you know, guys, this is not mate. This is not made. 
Should I pay? You should absolutely, absolutely, bro. It'd be the best investment in yourself because that's what it is. It's an investment in yourself. You should always invest in yourself if this is uh, something you want to get better at. Absolutely, invest in yourself and get the uh, the pro membership or gold membership, diamond. Ninety seven. Rook takes d7. I could just move the king because I'm definitely having some trouble down this diagonal. It's kind of annoying. Knight g2. I was thinking king h2. King h1, you run into a light square. King f1, same thing. King h2, I get off of the diagonal or the file. But then maybe he had rook h8, huh? Is this real? Can we check and flex real hard? Knight f4, knight f4 queen check. Knight takes. Yeah, there it is. Check here. Knight here. Oh, but that's not checked, though. I am getting this pawn, but that's not checked. That's what I wanted to check him. He plays knight h5 instead. Dang, Artemiev is so strong. Even though I'm down. Like, he's he's making all the best moves right now. He is making it so hard for white. So strong, bro. I'm telling you, that Russian chess is something serious, bro. Man. <laughs> what they be eating over there? Like, what do they eat over there? You need to figure out what they diet is. Wow. Them boys pushing tight. That's crazy. Before she just stoop. It's the truth. They, they are lucky I didn't play today. Okay. All right, big fella. F4. How do we... Uh, G5. That's a blunder. My queen's trapped. What in the world is this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, bro. How is it losing immediately? Knight F5. What a move! Knight f5. Oh my goodness. Hey, Carl's sitting here like this right now. And you know how you do with his faces, right? You know how he is. I can't. I can't. You know, that's how he be, bro. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh my goodness. The Artemia, bro. They born 2100 over there in Russia, boy. He's showing it right now. Like, this is nasty. Completely losing. To completely winning. Tactics win games. And he was telling, hey, how do we get better in chess, right? This right here. Tactics. 99% of your games will be won or lost off of tactics. Every single one. Every single one. I mean, this is a wrap. Yeah, he jumped off the deep end. He was there and he wasn't. He thought he crossed the street correctly. Everything was cool. He turned around and he got hit. It was a wrap. Dana was so strong. Jeez. And I was like, yo, the queen seemed trapped. Then he played rook d4, thinking he blundered, but he didn't. Because rook, rook takes e7 or queen takes e7 was mate, and we great. But he played that move, knight f5, and just turned everything around. That was insane. That was absolutely a memorable moment there. And he takes him down, and Hikaru knocks everything off the table in front of him. Now, of course, he can't do that because he's streaming right now. But I'm sure in his mind, he just knocked everything off the table in front of him. Wow, what a game. What a game, my guy. Oh, my goodness. See, Carl makes mistakes. Yeah, I mean, he makes mistakes, but he makes, like, you know, one every, uh, I think, what, uh, 27 days, something like that. Uh, yeah, so this is the one. I mean, sometimes he'll have maybe a few, but every few days, every <laughs> every long period of time, he'll make a mistake. He's mad about that one. That was nuts. Fine go, bro. Did you see that, Ben? Did you see that? Uh, yes, bro. I just saw that. Nine and a half. I mean, man, that was a big game. He was losing. Like He was straight up losing. He was gone. He was not supposed to win that game. Chess is tough. Yes. Chess is extremely tough. Oh, it's Ben Fine Go. Yeah, Fine Go in the chat, bro. Shout out to Fine Go. Shout out to Fine Go, y'all. Fine Go is in the chat. King C2. Push. You gotta be careful because I am down a pawn still. I'm down a pawn. Ooh, yeah, and I might be down another one too. But can he catch me? I just shuffle. Probably shuffle then, right? Shuffle and hope for the best. Yeah, shuffle and hope for the best. Let's back it up. Same, same. Doesn't really matter. You really you're limited to these three moves and the bishops, like in the bishop move. Let's see. It's probably gonna be a repetition.
Bro, yo, don't flag. Amisha Nick don't want the draw. That's what it is. I understand. Some triangulation here? What are we doing? Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. Mrs. Chance resigned, so he won instead. Yeah, he did. I mean, he really did. That was insane. Every day I'm shuffling, fine go to see. Every day I'm shuffling. Every day fine goes out here shuffling, just so you know. That means you should too. Ah, uh, check, check. It's a draw, guys. Barrage of checks with no shelter. No shelter. They shoot me shuffling. They hate him. That is so funny. Shoot 12. You are hilarious. That was the joke of the day. That was great. Man, he got right. <laughs> Any vices for a beginner? I can't stop losing games. Analyze every single game you play. Win, lose, or draw. You want to look at it to see what you can do better. You also need to do tactics every single day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 80% tactics and 20% everything else. Hello, James. What's going on? What's up, Donut? Man, that was like insane, my guy. Insane. So, all right, let's go back. Let's see what, what else we got here. Let's come back to uh, last game. Last game in this round. In this round. Oh, uh, White's winning. Yeah, this is an easy one. It should be. Well, yeah, it should be an easy win. Should be an easy win. There's a flag. GG. Let's check the standings real quick. As we see, the only top dog up here from Russia. The, the the promised land here, Russia, right? They turned it up today. Russia going crazy, my guy. And he is in first place. Look at uh, Artemiev in first place right now. Great job. And then eight and a half and everyone else. Hikaru with eight there took that ill. But this is the last round. The final round is starting right now. We're going to check out the top dog and see what he's doing. Artemiev here. <laughs> oh, this, you're funny. You funny, bro. Oh man, that's hilarious. Played it ready. Very flexible. Knight of three move one is a very flexible opening. Knight of three, e three, c four. Very flexible. And then he has the bishop on a b two now. I like it. I do like the flexibility. Pies on a stream are immaculate. Thanks, Grifford. Thanks, Grifford. Appreciate it. Okay, so after bishop e2, we have b6 on the board. Castle, get out the way. Probably nine times out of ten. This is just what you do here. There's really nine. What else do you actually do besides castling? Rook c1, I guess, is a possibility. Queen c2, maybe put some pressure on the file. Knight b5, yeah, that's bad because bishop b4 check. So there it is. Rook c1 and castling, probably. There it is. And then we just kind of figure out what to do now. Now you just kind of figure out what to do. The book is called Lessons with a Grandmaster. Oh, actually, I've, I have um, I have heard of that book, Audrey. So I've heard of your dad's book. I've just never seen of that. But um, yeah, I've actually heard it, heard of it, and I've seen who was that? It was a friend of mine. I just saw the other day. He got some new books, and that was one of them. And I'm like, oh, that's an interesting one. Let me check that out. And I haven't got it yet, but I did see him. Get the book. Uh, why don't we just take this and play knight d2, and then after f5, play f3. That's the idea here. Looks like queen g5 does hit this weak pawn, though, so that's kind of annoying. How do we defend against that? Also, the bishops are pointing. Yeah, probably not the best bet. Probably not the best bet. It looks cool, though. Knight takes, takes, knight here, hit the pawn. f5, we play f3, break that boy all up. But then he got queen g5, and we live, in a way. Maybe you play f4, but that locks it up. Looks kind of strange. Queen h4 does hit h2 as well, so we need to play f4 to neutralize the bishop anyway. It's a wild, wild position, to be honest. So maybe bishop d3, but then again, he still goes f5. So this kind of sucks. Maybe knight takes, takes, then knight e5. And just kind of just be like, you know what? Whatever, right? Just throw your hands up in the air, because that's exactly what this feels like here. Seems pretty good at, at first for for um, for white, but black definitely has a lot of... Lot of um, he definitely has a lot of play. Black has a lot of play. That's crazy. Our chess book's really good. All the uh, as all the opening theories online. What exactly is the use? No, actually, chess books are still good. 
uh, they're still great, and they uh, they um they still have a lot of substance. There's gonna be a books are always gonna be great, and there's certain things in books that won't be online because it is old stuff. There'll be older stuff or new no novelty, something you try to bring back and revive, and things like that too. That you can find you can find new ideas and old ideas in books, and even combined ideas. It's really nice, really nice. We in here? What's up, damn man? Chew. Let's go, bro. That's right. That's the new emote. Yeah, that's right. Damn Andrew. Yeah, he did get F5 in, like we said before. This bishop usually, what is it? Uh, the Rubenstein? Rubenstein variation. I think of Queen's Gambit? Something like that. I'm not a D4 player. I'm an E4 for life. But it was, uh, there's, you know, this pressure on the file is usually huge, huge. That's why we put the rook and the queen here, hence the move C4 early on, so we can open up the file and use it to our advantage. But this bishop is locking this pawn down, which means this whole thing does nothing but just look very good. G5 actually is a thing. This bishop looks gross. In fact, I think black's position is actually much better here. Now, of course, the engine knows all. The engine says it's just equal. But it does say a lot. It does say a lot about this position. If it's just equal, right? Bishops look better. You know, we have a knight in the center of the board. Hence, you know, when you cross the line, you got to go. I teach this to students all the time. Meaning, anything that is not my piece that has crossed into my territory has to go. And this knight got to go. And he is chilling. He's been sitting here a long time long time we could do the same though we can kind of do the same this is why it's equal because we can do the same it's very equal in a way where my d4 people in the chat oh my goodness we even got rive started e4 for life what's up haha -ha. what's going on bro just to get better yes yes absolutely a little bit of both a little bit of both rive you only got one with you bro one with you rive crazy he's not yeah 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 <laughs> d4 e4 sorry bro oh my goodness look at this d4 players in the chat e4 d4 is disgusting there we go grifford okay i'll see you my guy grifford okay man i gotta go sorry all right audrey see have a good one bro i'm gonna do whatever you're saying h3 is best opening okay hey make it work make it work you know you can do whatever you want in this life not sure if it's gonna work for you but you can definitely do it no problems rick f6 yeah, we really want to just get this knight to e5. There it is. Like, he waited so long to put it here, but it's there. Bobby Fisher approved. You already know, SRJ. Pawn takes was not a fork, by the way, guys, because there was a check here on the board. So he took back with the knight. F1, F3. Okay, yeah, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Block with your face if you like. You can do whatever you like. Can we just... I feel like I can take both rooks, but that's probably not the best move. Yeah, rookie too, right? I think we could have gotten away with it, but you got to be sure before you do something like that. You got to be really sure. And now we're okay. Now we're okay. Like we said, right? Equal position. Except, ooh, look at his time though. Artemiev's time is not there. He doesn't have any, any time. B. Caldera says, block with your face if you like. <laughs> right. I mean, hey, look, tell him, let him know, bro. Block, block with your face if you want to. That's a choice to block with your face. Man, that's funny. King F1, bishop takes. Draw us, right? Ooh, he caught up on time, though. He caught up. E6. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't. Yeah. That's straight up blocking with your face. Yeah. Takes. And then there's a draw offered and accept it. They took a draw there. It took a draw. Great job, because Artemiev was very low on time. Very low on time, and he still is the... Oh, that's it. That's a wrap. He wins. He wins. Unless, of course, is Peter still playing, or did he end up with nine and a half? I think that was his final game. So that might be it. That might be it. Oh, here he is. He's still playing right here. No. Oh, he won. Yeah, he won. So that gave him nine and a half. Oh, let's, let's update this. Wow. Look at that, Artemiev, Russia for the win, guys. Russia for the win. I mean, Russia, I mean, but they had how many flags up here got Russian, or Russian right? You know, they, they were bound. They had a 70% chance of somebody from Russia getting first place in this tournament. <laughs> they had like seven people from, from Russia on here, bro. It's like insane. They literally just called him up, you know. Russia, we got to represent today, y'all. And they all came out. They all came out to play.
Literally, they all came out. Oh, Hikaru. Here's Hikaru, guys. Hikaru is down. He's got eight points here. He's got eight points. He's got eight points. Yeah, like we say, he didn't have the best tournament. He didn't have the best tournament. Not not one of his best features or his best tournaments. It does happen, though. You can't win every single tournament. You would like to. You would like to win every single tournament, every single game. But then again, you also never learn as well. I mean, you can learn. You can learn from wins. You can learn a lot from your wins. But at the same time, like, you know, you learn a lot more. Or at least you should learn a lot more from your losses. And somehow, Hikaru is able to draw this game from a losing position here. Yeah, this is a tough one. He's just having a tough game. Tilted Tuesday. Yeah, a little bit of Tilted Tuesday. A little bit of Tilted Tuesday for Hikaru. But that's okay. That's okay. Just a little bit. He's going to get these points back, too. Is Eric Hansen playing? Hansen? No, Eric Hansen was not playing today. He, um, I'm sure he's, he's, he's playing in the um, uh, Twitch Rivals, which is going on uh, about 45 minutes, actually, guys. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, it's a draw. It's just a draw. <laughs> what are you doing? What is he doing right now? Stop this. Yo, somebody get your guy. Somebody get your match, please. Some <laughs> you can't win. Why not just take the pawn? Why are we dragging this on? Oh, man, that was hilarious. Somebody go get your match, please. That's, that's hilarious. That was just a troll moment there. That was very trollish. But you can't even win. Like, it'd be different if there was a pawn on the board. Like, even if he flagged, you would still get a draw. Because you don't have any anything out. That was just such a troll moment from Hikaru there. That was funny. That was very funny. He's like, yeah, it's a draw anyway. We don't care. We just come play around. Make it, make, make some more moves. I thought that was very, very funny. Oh, wow. What is that? Some vehicle. Some type of vehicle. <laughs> okay. So, that is, um, that's a wrap, guys. That's right. He's feeling salty. He called us dirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Nick, you can just go to my uh, channel over here and then you can check the about tab. So that's a wrap, guys. That is a wrap. Look at Russia representing. Like we always say, Russia over there, they're born 2100. As you see, they're representing um, the first and second place spots. One is Artemiev, the second being Peter Svidler. Uh, very strong Russian performance from these boys today. And the rest, a uh, shout out to uh, Max Saludu. Max Suludu, I always get that wrong, but Parham, Parhamov, you know who he is, right? Third place there, great stuff. Another title Tuesday, guys. It never, ever, ever goes um, um bad, honestly. It's, it's always a great stream. It's always a great stream, always great stuff. We always learn from here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Stick around, or maybe not just stay here. We might wait someone. I'm sure we're rating someone after this, so you can stick around too as well, but wait 45 minutes. Come back to the channel, guys. Twitch Rivals is starting. It's going to be fun. I'm going to actually be playing in Twitch Rivals as well. You can check me right there. My channel is in the chat. So appreciate everybody sticking around today for Title Tuesday. The best day for chess every single week is the Tuesday. So you can see the best of y'all. So I'll see you guys later. We are rating. Look at that. Cool. Going to Raid Nemo. So we'll see y'all later in about 45 minutes for Twitch Rivals. See y'all on the next one.